All right, bang, bang. Today is Monday. It is April 4th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports Snake Draft Monday. We're joined by, I think, third time guest. We got Coley on Zoom. Coley, welcome back. Great to have you. I'm thrilled to be back. Always love uh, getting the text from Ed saying it's it's draft time. Um, I take it as seriously as you boys always itching to get back into the draft. But I am disappointed, Ed. I know, I know you're disappointed and let me say first and foremost like Coley I love having you on this you have such a weird brain you're perfect for these but I get in this spot where I'm always like oh I want to I always want to save like a, a weird one for Coley you know mm-hmm. I mean today's not that today's definitely not a weird one have we ever done a weird one with I don't Coley? think we have we yeah. did, did overrated NBA. right we did and we did the, the most NBA. standard ones that we I did yeah. underrated I did NBA all time which I mean, I add. I like to add rules. I definitely because when I listen, the rules are rarely established when I'm not on. <laughs> it's fucking chaos. Uh, so I like to try and be the adult and, <laughs> and set forth a couple rules just just to give us a little a little bit of help. Um, but yeah, the, the so I took Michael Jordan out of the last one just to make it a little more difficult. But when Ed was asking me if I had any ideas last night, it was right after uh, the Celtics had gotten hosed by the officials uh, against uh, El Heat. So I was furious. So I asked if we could initially draft the uh, referees I wanted to murder with my bare hands. Um, (laughs) And then I said, listen, it's baseball season. Uh, I know it's a big baseball office out in Chicago. Let's do the first ever 10 rounds all time starting nine plus pitcher. And Ed Ed didn't think you boys were built for the marathon. I just don't. I just don't think it's a marathon room. I, I feel like uh, we get to maybe a three-hour show. We get yeah, maybe five, Dave. Maybe yeah. five hours. And like Coley's, like he's built different with yeah. that. You know, mixtape would go so four long. hours. Their ad yeah. reads could be four hours. And like that's why I'm like, I don't know. I I, I just I don't want to lose the locker They'd spend room. Spend ninety minutes on Fruit Loops. Like yeah, you know, exactly, like yeah. <laughs> just whatever yeah. cereal. Yeah. I don't want to lose the locker room an hour fifteen in on uh, you know, talking about four yeah. hitters, you know. It, it was just I was concerned. Dave but, just being like, Well, my buddy went to high school with him and he yes. played again, and my son his son played on my team and for triple A and that all those stories. That would have been great. That would be a good live draft if we ever wanted to do like a YouTube page drive or something. We oh, could do like an overnight I like, that. like, uh, I like that, that is a good a lot. That is a good idea. And then with the intention of being like, if we're going to be here all fucking night. Coley, would you come back for that? We should have Coley come out to Chicago for that. <laughs> for that. Yeah, I, I mean, I will be furious if the first 10-round draft isn't with featuring me. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> so. We've done a few sixes, right? Uh, yes, one or freestyle. Two. Sixes, we, yes. Fr- the internet video. And the love songs. Okay. We just, we just, yeah. we're, we're well, that so goes back fun. to Coley's point where we don't establish rules. We just decided to add a round like midway yeah. through. <laughs> lawless. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. It is very lawless. So, yes, uh, that's a great, I love that idea. I love doing like a night one, 10 rounds and just fucking getting weird. Is there one of those uh, overseas opening day games this year where they play at like four in the morning in Australia? <laughs> oh, dude, uh-huh. <laughs> that would be unbelievable. Yeah. It's always like the Mariners versus yeah. like the Oakland A's. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, that would be awesome. Cubs did it one year. Yeah, yeah. Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Sammy Cubs, Sosa. Cubs Mariners, yeah. yeah. I remember that. Was that after you got uh, Fukudame? No, uh, it was no, before it was that. Well before, yeah, yeah. This is a long time ago this now. This is like 2002 or something. Yeah, yeah. this is like oh, the okay. good Mariners yeah. team. Yeah. Like, Fukudome was so not good in the fact that his name just rings hollow or just like it will always be around us. Thank you for that call. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to upset anyone. That, that's not a get upset kind of guy. No, it, he no. That one day was great. He had a 981 <laughs> OPS in April, and then he had like a 550 OPS in September. Mm-hmm. It's tough. I think that was like new Etro that was built around Etro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you're mm-hmm. right. And like then that was like when he first fast the forward to 2019, was it? Ichiro retires, and I didn't even realize the merit. He signed like a – uh, it wasn't technically, but he, he played in 2019. He signed with the Mariners and then retired after the Japan series. I turned on baseball at like 10 in the morning or whatever time it was, and Ichiro was playing in his last game in Japan, and they like had no fanfare around it. I like found out watching. Oh yeah, I remember uh, that. Yeah. I was like, "What the fuck is this? This is an awesome for, moment, and you guys didn't even market it." Remember when everybody was super into uh, Korean baseball for a couple of weeks during the yeah. pandemic? <clears> I couldn't the, do it. The only thing that I was think going. Clem's still into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Clem's still. Like, yeah, he's got a big dinosaur game today. That's funny, um, but yeah. So like I said, I like I ended up. So I just want to always want a weird topic for you, but I ended up just like 
you know, never call any for in, and as a reliever because I just wait for that topic and it's upsetting. So it's my fault. But today will be fun. I think you, um, you're definitely the expert on this, right? We're doing MLB hats. Yeah, and I, I take it so seriously. I intentionally wore an NHL hat so as to not tip any potential picks out there. I did the same um, thing. But yeah, it's. Uh, I'm I mean, promoting our own merch. As a, that's nice too. Yeah. <laughs> as a as a bald, I've been long in the hat game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't remember a point in my life where I I haven't been a hat guy. Um, and I also I grew up on the diamond, so like I, it it, it means a lot. It means a whole lot. Uh, uh, it, it's arguably you could argue it might be the most unique piece of equipment to a specific sport. The the hat. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. sure. And has become like a fashion piece all over the world. <clears throat> yep. So are you a fifty nine fifty only guy? Um that's like the the build of hat I prefer. Uh so like this is a um forty seven brand, no free ads. Um we but this 47. build is based off of like the fifty nine fifty. So it's it's yeah, new era holds a, a very special place in my heart. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. So I think um I think it'll be interesting. A lot of people like I don't know. Well, I think I think people will enjoy this. I, yeah, I yeah. hope so. Coley, how many hats do you think you own? I should have took a picture of mine this morning. I mean, what what people forget, uh, part of the reason I work at this company, my second video ever when I was still at UMass, was people were chirping me because of my first video. I was wearing, again, not trying to tip picks, uh, a, a non-area-centric uh, hat. Uh, I know what you're talking so about. So I... Uh, I had to explain, like, I own damn near 30 hats, uh, which people also took umbrage with and chirped me over. <laughs> so right now, I don't know, I cycle through them pretty quick, but I think I I live around the damn near 30 range. I think I'm still okay. around 30. Damn okay. near 30. I was wondering if, like, you had a bedroom that looked like a lids, just like in your house. You I'll show you mine in. when I get home. It's Col- Coley, are you, a, are you a minor league hat guy? Uh, the only minor league hats I have currently are Albuquerque isotopes because of the Simpsons. The tie-in. Simpsons, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. and um, a Portland Sea Dogs one. I got a uh, I got a little spinner set. The, the 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 minor league game is so strong, uh, but it's one of those things where if I I waded too deep into that pool, it was where that's where all my money would. Go. It, so right, right, right. For like, sure. I it's I just like looked not up going near the drug dealers. A fifty nine fifty is almost fifty dollars now. Yeah, like I've spent thirty bucks on them my whole life. Now they're almost fifty bucks. Expensive. The tax is insane. Uh, yeah, inflation. Biden needs to figure it out when it comes to the, mm. the hat market. Inflation, You're preaching brother. to the choir, man. Inflation, inflation draft brother. coming your way. <laughs> inflation. Things that are inflated. Uh, also, speaking of the Simpsons, we did already compliment him on having the arcade game. So don't worry. Yeah. It's one of the coolest things I've always wanted. One, so I respect that. The fuck that out is of that. really fucking. I'm not sweet. even a big Simpsons guy. I just love that game. Um. All right, so let's uh, let's just hop in here. Let's let's do the order. Uh, intern Lance has the number one through five behind his back. Coley, what number is it? Four. No. Three. Oh. No. Two. Yeah. I'll take the third spot. Oh, White Sox, Dave. Three. No. Four. Yeah. I'll take two. Uh, one through three, Coley. Two. No. One. Yeah. I'll take the first pick. One or two, Dave. I never win these. I said this last week. One. Yeah. Four, four or five. Uh, I'll just go five. All right. That's not the place you want to be for this one. You think so? I don't think, I don't so. think it matters. I don't think it much. matters either. And there's uh, one I definitely want. I think it matters. Again. Are these uh, historic yeah. hats too, or are they just what they're wearing now? So the clarification, like I said, <clears throat> you are picking the exact hat. So it's like if you got to give a date, if you got to get you, we were explaining as best as possible. The YouTube videos will have pictures of it, and uh, like we're not doing that whole catalog thing. Like you are, yeah, you're varying so. as specific as possible. This hat, like you, even if it comes down to the color of the brim, mm-hmm. like okay. that's oh, yeah. how specific okay. it has mm-hmm. to be. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. No stones on turn. But but it Let's is go. specifically new era. So anything new era makes. I don't, I don't. Did they always make it? I'm, I don't well, know. I'm just like it's just dude. Whatever the teams wore. Yeah, there's a bunch of. Uh, okay, yeah, so they, it had to be worn on the field. Yes. yes okay. Yes, all right. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. um, all right, so the order is Carl, Eddie, Chief, Coley, White Sox, Dave. You ready to go? I'm ready. I'm so pumped for this pick. Well, before you go. Oh, before you also, congrats to Tommy Smokes. He won the uh, awkward situations draft. As uh, as anticipated. Well, de well yeah. deserved. Yeah. Hat tip to Tommy mm -hmm. Smokes. Yeah, good job, Tommy. For being awkward. He's a good guest. Um, Tommy's great on these. Yes. Uh, before we get into it, though, we got to talk about the original sponsor of this show. We got to talk about JP Graziano. Oh my God, yes. the goat! Uh, that's you could take solace in that, Cole. You're on for a Graziano episode. That's nice. I I'll be honest. I I associate you guys so closely with Graziano. I didn't know there were non-Graziano episodes. <laughs> Even when we don't read the ads, I'm thinking of Muffaletta, <laughs> Pavlov's dog. Beautiful. That's what I love to hear. So obviously, you may have heard last Friday, April Fool's Day, they played a joke on everyone. Uh, they had the uh, the JP Wiener Lord. They're uh, they're teaming up though, so it's actually real. It's a JP Graziano, the Wiener Circle, and the Lord. They merged into one company. So, uh, but it, <laughs> okay. but they're actually going to make it happen. So it's cool. Um, Friday, April eighth, from five to eight p.m., Jim will be selling the Wiener Port Bloody Mary along with uh, co-branded shirts, and uh, JP Garziano's Jard will be on the menu at. Uh, Winter Circle, so you'll be able to get that on whatever you want there. Mm. So that's awesome. That might be like the strongest Chicago triumvirate I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. JP Graziano's Winter Circle and Malort. Like, it doesn't get more Chicago than that. He no. just keeps coming, man. Every time his he's marketing got, it's is unbelievable the ideas this guy's coming up with. This yeah. sounds like a great, great, great time. It's great. Also, we forgot the beef kits. Can we, can we throw them up here, Lance? Can we uh, we got to get those in the shot here. I mean, not that we took it out for any reason. We just, you know what's happening now? And I'd like to let Jim know this publicly that it's happening is people are just taking them because they're using yeah. them yeah. from the office. I, uh, and so we don't I'm have guilty. any more. Yeah. I'm guilty of it. So we don't have any more. Well, That's the yeah. situation. It's a good situation, though. Yeah, it's a good situation. People. Uh, I also gave out a bunch. Like people are coming into the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. All day, yeah. I could see you. Yes, hey. exactly. It's just, you know, it's just a good gift, and we like it. Yeah. So go get that, tastrealchicago.com. Um, yeah, but also, like I said, April April 8th, Friday, 5 to 8, Jim's going to be out there selling bloody uh, Wiener Lord Bloody Mary. So that'll be cool. And uh, if it does well, that might be permanent. So get that J.P. Graziano uh, jarred. So on your sandwich or whatever you get that winter circle on your hot dog. Try it out. Try it out. Mm -hmm. um, TasteofChicago.com. Go check them out. Go buy a beef kit. And also, I a lot of lot of lot of statements today. I apologize, but so I apologize to Jim. I completely botched that he wasn't on. That him. Big John, the mailman, and Frank Kaminsky were the three. Oh best from outside. shit! Because he's not an outsider. I know. Like that's what like Jim is one. Jim's one of us. So it's like that's true. I mean, that was one of the best drafts we ever did with the Sanders draft. I oh, think yeah. I took it in the hundredth draft. Like so. But if someone and, said, "Have we ever had a partner on the show?" You'd yeah. say instantly you go Jim Graziano. Correct. So, partner. Um, sorry, Jim. I did not forget about you, but I did. So. Uh, I think cool. you're a big man for doing. Thank you. Right, on behalf, you know. of, I'm not I shouldn't say on behalf of Jim, but like I feel like on behalf of anybody anywhere who needs an apology, like that's a, that's nice of you. Eddie. It's been eating away at me. Um, but okay, let's uh, without further ado, what's wrong? Dude? Let's uh, targeted ads is what's wrong. <laughs> targeted ads, Coley. Dave's having a problem early. <laughs> I had a conversation with Chief before he logged on, and now I'm getting targeted ads. It's freaking me out. Is it a shotgun that shoots machetes? Is that what the <laughs> <laughs> No, I should have my shotgun soon, though. My machete, came, my machete came. I ordered it. It was at my doorstep by, like, 4 a.m. that day, the same day I ordered right. it. I can't wait to hack things with it. Good luck. He's, he was also trying to throw Molotov cocktails in alleys. So. <laughs> I don't see um, what's wrong with that. Uh, <laughs> it's not going to light <laughs> bricks on fire or concrete. No, never. No. They don't. They don't use them to blow up tanks and shit. So <laughs> they don't blow up tanks. It's an incendiary device, yeah. Dave. I understand what a Molotov cocktail is, but once the liquor burns off, it's out. It, the, it's over. We should find like a rock quarry for you. To, that's like a deserted rock yeah, quarry. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Go blow I was shit actually going to bring that up in the office today. We'll talk about it after the show, though. We got hats. To We're draft. buying a rock That'd quarry. Be, we could buy like a mini Tonka truck and just like. <laughs> Throw oh, into that. that. We should draft those. That'd be sick. I Tonka, Tonka trucks. Tonka, truck. Tonka yeah. trucks were well. Awesome. Not. I mean, uh, toys? toys. Did we draft? Yeah. We probably yeah. had. Yeah, yeah Tamagotchi. Toys. I'm yeah. still. I'm still paying <laughs> still the price really for that one. That. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, deservedly so. All right. First pick of the draft, Carl. You're up. The year is 1983. Uh, Cal Ripken Jr. is going out to shortstop. He yeah. looks phenomenal, and the reason he looks phenomenal is he's wearing. The old school, he's got the white on the, I have to explain this in vivid detail. Uh, you like that? 
It's mm. got the white with the cartoon. The bird, yeah. Bird. It's Funk Oriole. It's the Oriole logo from the 80s. Yep. And it's also their present day logo, which yeah. is smart. When teams do that, I mean, that's what Miller liked it too. They like where it's like, hey, our old logo was great. We're just going back. Mm -hmm. And but, such a good logo. You kind of get two hats for the price of one. The bird's wearing a hat too. So <laughs> you got you got hats on true. hats. Yeah. It's always good. The Eagles good point, just did Chief. that with their Kelly Greens and their fucking fire. They, I've been calling for that for 25 years, I feel like. Going those back, are they officially are. going back to those? Yeah, I saw a tweet. That, is that confirmed? I saw a tweet about it. Yeah. I love the black and orange combination. I think that plays really well. And I do like the fact that the front third is white. I think that's like a cool contrast or front quarter. Like and the that. cartoon bird plays. We're, there's a lot of birds on hats in Major League Baseball, guys. But to me, I think the cartoon Oriole is by far my favorite. I think you drafted that for something else too. Uh, I I've, uh, I we did the jersey draft, yes, and, and so I took yeah, the, Orioles like the, Orioles. the Orioles in the first round of the jersey draft. The, I, I mean, I think the their jerseys are the best. In I think they have the best I uniforms. Love, I've always said that. I love, love the Orioles uniforms. Their uniforms, they're good. That would have been my first pick. Cole, are you okay with it? Is this number one overall worthy? I like playing the Orioles as often as as we do it i'm just like kind of numb to them and i associate them with losing so it's <laughs> it's hard to separate the art from the artist uh i do like the drunk like I, that cartoon bird looks like he had a few before he got sewn on to the is this hat, like an actual thing or what? do people say it's a drunk bird or is that just a you thing i have no idea if other people say it. okay like, to me he looks like he's had a couple that's a guy. I gotta look this guy up. Now, I th there's gonna be other hats where I'm gonna go. Hey, that's a clear cut first rounder. Now, I think this is one of those drafts. It's tough to say. This is a first. Is it? I like it first overall. I like it in the first round. I think I have to stretch to defend it as a first overall. I don't know if there's a hard hitting, but I just like I know at the end of the day, one through five, I'm gonna want the I'm gonna want this hat in my roster. I love it. Yeah, he does look kind of fucked up. He's got the puffy face like he's... Yeah, you know, that's what he yeah. He looks bloated. Yeah, yeah he, he looks, looks bloated, bloated yeah. And yeah. Earl Weaver, too. Like, I never You know say him. baseball, you, Earl Weaver just instantly comes to mind. Him in the dugout wearing one of these things. Just motherfucking people smoking cigarettes. I think cigarettes. you drafted Earl Weaver for some time. I love, I like, <laughs> you got to just move to Maryland. <laughs> I you and love, Nate start restart Barstool DMV. Like, I'm an, I like the Orioles. I grew up liking the Orioles. I like Earl... I don't know. Theo Epstein interned with the Orioles. Oh, That's yeah. where he got his launch. Here's the fun. He was driving a spring break. He gets a call from his mom. It's like, hey, guess what? You got the internship. You got to, He cancels spring break. His buddies, what are you doing? He goes back to Baltimore. And that's when they had the All-Star game, and he came up with the idea to do a Negro Leagues All-Star 50th reunion thing. Scoped the whole project out himself. Didn't tell anybody about it until it was all ready to go. Then went to his boss, and his boss was like, hey, you're so smart. This is such a good idea. You're going to work with me wherever I go. That was Kevin Towers, who then took him to San Diego, where he became a legend. Wow. Orioles. It's a nice story. Oh, you know. Orioles. <laughs> Big yeah. Theo guy. So what do you want me to say? I agree. It's a first rounder. Okay. It's, it's probably first rounder. So, I, I mean, where it goes. I kind of want to get fucked up now, with that Oriole now. It's going to be tough. <laughs> now I got to sit and listen to Tim. This is tough this now. Is I gotta, tough. This yeah. is a very uh, tough Tom. situation I'm in. Well, uh, to, to defend you a little bit also, Carl, I think there is a clear cut 1-1, one, one, oh. but it's so boring. Okay. So boring. So I like that you went this direction. Were you talking about Ooh. him? Were you tweeting about him recently? Never mind. Let's just get to it. Sorry. Probably. Now I'm kind of <laughs> worried because I'm up and I'm between three right now. Hmm. I'm between three. Um, and two are kind of similar to each other. So I do. I take the odd one. I don't know. I, this I always am so indecisive. Uh, fuck it. I'm taking the Expos. Nice. Yeah. All blue. Uh, the one with the white. Um, I think I'll I'll get the specific one, but the white front <laughs> mm -hmm. and the blue. You know, blue yeah. lid, white front, but then blue back. Yes, I'm gonna hold on. Let me find it. Just be more specific. So it looks like the 1969 and 2004. Well, that's probably when they contracted. They not, yeah, they always yeah. wore this hat. Yeah, but even uh, the ones that were solid blue, were not great the too. solid blue. I'm but taking, I know. Yeah. But like you know, solid. I think it's a great logo. It's one of those things where it's like I'm always like I always argue with Dave about this. Like they should bring like expand and bring back the Expos. But in my heart of hearts, I just want to see that hat in the rotation mm -hmm. again. Yeah, it's, it's a great hat. It really is. And uh, there's number two on my list. Though. That was, was number it? two on my list yep. too. Oh, okay, good. I'm happy. It's on my though. list. It, it, it was right there for me. I like two. I like two other ones a lot. So I'm happy you guys. Montreal is one of those teams. I wish our cities. Like, they really. They could have baseball back. That'd be great. Could you imagine doing like a road trip they, with the boys <laughs> up to Montreal for Montreal? A weekend? Might be my favorite city, non-Chicago city in North America. Like it's like Montreal is 
Awesome. Really? Awesome. Yeah. I've, I've heard it's great. Yeah. I've never been. a good hat? Yeah. What does the hat say? I know I'm going to get shit by the y'all. I don't know what the hat means. I think it says X. I think it's an M. Yeah, I think it's an M. Oh, oh okay. That makes yeah. sense. There's something to it, though. Like, like each, cryptic? There's, like, each section <laughs> of the M is for sun. Where's mine? There's also an E in there, too. Under I can't remember e. what it is. It's been explained to me before, I, but I can't remember what it is. Really? What's your take, Cole? The, the, you like that the, one? The Expos logo consists of the stylized letters EB, which stands for Expos Baseball. When taken as yeah. a whole, the logo forms a large M representing ah, Montreal. I like it. Yeah. Interesting. I, I never knew what that I, meant. I never noticed the EB until right this second. I always just noticed the E. It's That's, a lowercase E. Yeah. Uh, lowercase b and when you squash and then that white is like negative space almost like your hartford whalers hat mm -hmm. and you squash them together it makes that m that's mm -hmm. i like that that's a nice touch that it's is. it's cool yeah call you like this one yeah i mean i have a expos hat uh on my list not specifically this one but i mean lest we forget the dozen championship i held that trophy wearing an expos hat oh mm. Mm. i forget but now i remember i'm Big not thing. reminded um, all right, so white expos off the board. Uh, Chief, you're up, and I got to say something before you pick. You are the spotlight's on you, pal, because you said before. What did you say before? I think I'm probably disconnected from the public on this. And I'd say that happens in most of these things. Not most. Some. <laughs> Not most. most. That's slander. That's uh, an exaggeration. It's fake news. And uh, that's Red Ed trying to like persuade the audience against me before I even make a pick. But with this pick, we're staying north of the border. We'll go with 1993. That's like my earliest baseball memories is those Joe Carter Blue Jays teams. I'm also taking the one with the white back, so we got a little, wow, bit, look of a, at us. A little bit of a theme here uh, that people like that contrast. I love that Blue Jay. I think it's a clean hat. I like the, uh, the the shade of blue. I like when they mix in the little the the logo. They have one logo where the bird has like, I don't even know what you would call it, it's hair. Is like a slightly lighter, more of a sky blue. I think that's super sharp. They got the little red maple leaf usually tucked in there. Great hat, love it. Um, and again, and one of those like a big time nostalgia one for me because that's you know you talk about those old Sports Illustrated of the year in sports like that 1993 video, Joe Carter hitting that home run. They I think those jerseys t also are just fucking fire. So let's see. Am I disconnected from the public on this one in this no. room? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. no it's not a list. Camp. What Step year? Sorry, say it one more time. I, I want to say mm. it was ninety three with the with the white it's gonna background. Be multiple. Uh, it was in yeah. there. Yeah, they had it from like the, I want to say they had it in the, throughout the eighties and yeah. then into the nineties until they went to the Frank Thomas, which no one will be drafting. Yeah, and then I something happened in the nineties where all like jerseys kind of got gross. Like they all went a little mm -hmm. too, and then that went into the early two thousands. And then I kind of feel like sport. It was like across every sport. And then they're like, you know, what? we had this right the first. It's the time. original Blue Jays hat. Yeah, yeah, it's classic. Good pick. It's a pretty good hat. Ooh, first, uh, first, first disagreement. Would you say it's a first rounder? A little yeah. too much going on for me personally. It's but to each their own. Um, I'm in the minority, so I guess it is a first rounder. Coley. Uh, but I. I think the Blue Jays throughout their history have had solid hats. Um, even like Carlos Delgado era, Roy Halladay, like they've always just had a pretty strong hat in my eyes. I agree. I agree. I, I we'll talk. We'll talk. I've actually heard that stadium, it's a good bird. It's a, and it's a bird. Yeah. And, I, and like I said, you're going to find some birds on hats here. And mm -hmm. here we are again. <laughs> a white original. <laughs> We're going to talk some birds on hats. Coley, how if far the are you from MLBs, Entire or entire overall marketing shift was just hey we get a lot of birds on hats that would be better than what they've been doing. The last correct. Twenty years. That's, that's very correct. <laughs> um, all right, white original Blue Jays hat off the board. Coley, you're up, and I'm very intrigued. Um, is your number one gone? Yeah, oh, I was about to ask. What is your number one gone? No, uh, I was leaning like I. I still may take an Expos hat this. I don't think I can make another Expos hat or round one pick after you already took one. Mm -hmm. um, th I'm also very uh, aware of who's drafting after me. So that's kind of coming into play. Like, can I get my next option uh, in the second round and take a, a, a cap I assume he has high on his board? Mm. Um, but I think I do have to make a statement. I have to stop this uh, white background on the front uh, streak immediately. 
<clears throat> and I'm going to be as specific as humanly possible. There was no more iconic hat in the 1990s than a regular Navy Seattle Mariners hat, specifically backwards. We're going backwards Mariners hat. Yeah. Fourth overall. Ken Griffey Jr. Correct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so you're mm -hmm. right, okay. all Navy Mariners? The all Navy. Yeah. With so the, the like, with the star. There's a lot of variety with Mariners hats, Carl. You know that as well. However, Griffey uh -huh. peaked with the all Navy yes. Mariners hat. Gray underbrim as well, if we're going to go even more specific. Damn. I love that hat. It's a great one. <clears throat> it's a great hat. I love that hat because of Ken Griffey Jr., like you said. I yeah. understand, Carl. There's some other great colors associated with <sighs> Mariners. I get it. That's Dude, the I hat, just, though. I respect you so much, Coley, that I don't want to argue with you about this, but I think you're wrong. You're How saying so? a different brim. Yeah, like we'll have okay, a, and I don't want to go down this path now. Wait, no, I get it. I get it. Like but when I you do. say junior, like I remember buying this hat. I remember chasing this hat down as a kid, and I remember being like, I gotta get, you know. And it's like, is it all navy? And it's like, eh, we'll see. No, I like it's a great pick. Can I'm you explain going one more time? Big time. What it was? Which one? It's all not navy Mariners hat. The S. Um, with the star with, thing. What's that? The the compass behind it? Yeah. Is that, oh, yeah. Uh, it would be a compass, I guess. Okay. Gray under brim, but backwards. So most of that actually doesn't matter because it's backwards. Okay. See, I can't find it on the site that I'm using. I got it right now. Just yeah? Google. Yeah. It's Google Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> yeah. You know? No, but I'm telling the site that I'm using has like, a, it has like every one. This is, I mean, that's the one he's looking that's for, it? but yeah, yeah. new era style. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so the Seattle. I think Navy. you fucked that one up, man. Oh no! You were so close, so close, but you fucked it up. Ah, the, I like. I get it. I get. We're talking brims. We're getting. We're talking brims. We're right. talking brims. Brims yeah. is an important thing. I, for that one, and I'm going to draft some multi, uh, some two tone hats uh, in a minute. But for this one specifically, I prefer mm -hmm. um, the uh, the mono <laughs> uh, color. The okay. Navy. Less is more in your mind. For Seattle, yeah. Okay. Seattle All Navy with gray brim off the board. White Sox. Backwards. Backwards, Ed. Backwards. So uh -huh. you just want the MLB logo showing. Yeah, that's true. Essentially. Yeah, you're drafting the MLB Unbelievable logo. Unbelievable fucking foul ball guy. That's, that's all he wants to do. <laughs> and they take Joe West All Star game hat. <laughs> uh, White Sox, Dave. So back when I was a young pup, <laughs> I would wear non White Sox hats. Only a select few, Ken Griffey Jr.'s hat being one of them. Another one I had was the Angels with the halo. Red brim, blue uh, uh, like hat part. Just say Angels in the outfield hat. Angels in the outfield hat. The old Cali nice and clean. California Angels. It was California yeah, no. Angels for sure, yeah. Um, they have that. They have the hat logo as like a, a monument outside their park, if you've ever seen it. I've never been to the park, but um, just a clean – Easy, simple hat, and that's what I go for for the most part for hats. Mm -hmm. um, but I love that hat. Can you show me which one? That one. That one. Okay. All right. So the it's it's a straight up A so with the little, halo. It's, it's more bolded with the halo. Like so this is the Nolan Ryan hat. This is the eighty nine to ninety two. Yeah. According yeah. to this website, this Sports is, Love when I think hat. of this hat, I think of Tony Danza. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, from like the that's, movie. That's exactly. Yeah. yeah, and they're yes. doing the and Danny Glover. Yeah. They're doing the Just flapping his but wings. But see, I think in the movie they had the, the different one. I haven't seen that movie in fucking twenty years. This could probably. be what's that uh, the Berenstein Bears thing where you like remember Mandela things? Yes. Yeah, Mandela effect. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So the I, well, I pointed out the one I want. If it's from the movie, it's from the movie. If it's not. If it's not. I haven't seen the movie in forever. But that's the one I want. Just the uh, uh, like dark, dark navy blue mm -hmm. hat part. The red brim, red A with the halo around the top of the A. See, I think much like what you were mad at Coley about. I think there's a better variation of angels possibly out there. I think Ooh. there are better angels hats as well. Yeah, it gets. Uh, I, I, I'm a sucker for the '80s throwbacks. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of us our age probably are, but for that's sure. the hat I'm going with. Um, and then for my wraparound, I'm just going White Sox normal. It's, I love that. I, I could have taken it first, obviously. Um, you can't shit talk this hat. It's just a fucking awesome hat. And the White Sox are a loser organization that nobody gives a shit about outside this immediate area. And it's consistently one of the best-selling hats. Uh, are you it, doing Jerry Reinsdorf a favor right now? Promoting his merchandise? I don't need to. 
I mean, he's got that taken care of. Dr. Dre, Easy E. Like, rest in peace. It's it's a Easy rest in peace. He died thirty years ago. Rest in peace. Um, I love the hat. I love the hat. It's a great hat. Doesn't mean I don't think there's a, I don't think there's a time limit on. Doesn't peace. mean he can't still rest in peace. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, had a great fifteen and then a hellacious <laughs> uh, moving forward. Uh, if he, if yeah, you no, die, I, like, are we talking like if you died in the nineteen fifties? Oh, oh, rest in peace. Like, <laughs> well, like Coley said, yeah. you don't just want a fifteen minute snooper and then you, you just everything else sucks. But when do you stop saying rest in peace? You just don't. It's a good question. It's a great question, Dave. When do you stop saying Happy New Year? January 6th. All right, then. So then we have to do the math and extrapolate it out and figure it out. I like but that. Yeah. No. Sat per South Park, it's 23 years. Okay. So fuck him, I guess. Dave addressed it. Dave addressed it. <laughs> really? Yeah, uh, just a standard all black White Sox logo. I love it. I yeah. love it. It's such a great hat. I wish I could wear it. I've all I've felt that way for yep. a lot of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, but it sucks. It's a nice hat, but it sucks. You could put it on <laughs> and get yourself on the ban list. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, would you ban Eddie from wearing a white socks? Oh yeah. Without like his his head would be spinning in circles like a top if he tried to wear. A I've hat. been invited as a to to convert. There has been mm-hmm. invitations sent. For oh, I can't even imagine by the one awake guys. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. There has been an invitation. I mean, you belong with the, that. Would be a good list. The only, I mean, I mean, I would never do it, but like, I the only reason I would is just to piss Dave off. That'd be funny if you intern with them. Could you fake it for a season? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just like there's something about your childhood, like you're just would never be able to do it. Shut up. You know? It would be guys. funny if you just like anytime you start talking about Jerry Ryan's or if you just come over the top even more angry. Yeah, like, just like, like guys getting an angry off. Guys, fucking unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Like nah, he, it's not even man. close to <laughs> not even close to funny to Dave. It's just it's too much of a sore subject. Um, Very much so. More information has came out, Ed. Uh-oh. I'll talk to you later. It's bad. <laughs> message Thanks, boards. Uh, no, mes- not message uh-oh. boards. Okay, Coley, you're up. Yeah, I, I mean, I was considering the White Sox with my fourth pick because I knew it wouldn't get back to me. It's uh, a great. It might be my favorite overall of the the thirty teams. It's it's so clean. Um, and it goes with anything, like just straight black. Right. You can wear it with anything, right? It's uh, it's gang neutral, as we like to say. <laughs> yes, very gang neutral. Um, one of my favorite hats, and I, I feel like I, again, I'm, I, I may get yelled at for going uh, all black, but I'm going to go 1997 Florida Marlins. Oh, that was the Florida. other hat I had. All black, second best Marlins uh, hat. Marlin jumping through the F, incredible logo. Um, beat the Yankees um, in the World Series. Always love that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going. Oh no, excuse me, I got my ears wrong. That oh, was, it was the uh, Indians. Yeah, it was yeah, the Indians. Was, You're right. But I th- that was. Uh, I think they had the same hat in 03 when they. I'm pretty sure yeah, the did. Yankees. I, they, yeah, yeah. There wasn't much of a change. Yeah. Um, but 97. Their uniforms also. now are fucking horrible. They should bring the full Marlin back. There's something about yeah. having the full animal as well as you can depict it on on the hat, and that's like you. Yeah. you that's a Marlin. That Marlin's the fucking scale, guys. It really is. That might be the greatest drop off in logo changes, like maybe ever. The it's big M is brutal. Terrible. It's awful. Brutal. Yeah. So this was one of the other ones I was considering at two overall. I really, really, really like this hat. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, re- I, re- I mean. They got you in 03, huh? I can't say as much as I want to say, but, yeah, I, I used to I used to rock one of these a lot yeah. as a kid. Um, I still do. I have the 03 uh, World Series patch hat. It's the only non-Boston, like, championship memorabilia I own. No, that's, that's a fun fact. They did you a favor, though. That's great. I mean, that's it made 03 so much easier from this side of, yeah. of people who had tough uh, championship series in 03. Uh, it made it so much easier. Like, no one was beating Beckett that year. It just wasn't he was happening. unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. the worst part was when 03 came, I couldn't wear it anymore. It was just too. Yeah. It is tough. And it was just too sad. You might as well put on a green turtleneck and headphones and sit there as Bartman. I like know. That's, so, 03, yeah. that was the shelf life. It died that day. Mm-hmm. It died that game seven that we lost. Yeah. That's tough. I don't know. Um, Chief, you're up. I'm going another two-tone hat. I'm taking the yellow brim, the green hat, Oakland A's. Um, I think the Oakland A's have maybe head-to-toe the sharpest uniform collection in all of baseball, the white cleats, 
those letters. They just like the script across the sh- across the chest. Is, I know it's just a hat draft, but they're clean. They're sharp. I, lo- I love the Oakland A's uh, uniforms, and I love their hat. Uh, so I'm t- I don't know what years I, that's from, but I want the yellow brim, the green hat, and that white A. I do need you to be a little more specific, just because there there was a difference. I, I mean, I, right, Cole? You could come agree on, with dude. Me. The yellow with the Kelly green. Uh, we no, all no, exactly no, 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 no. He's, he's going forest about. green. No, I'm going Kelly green. Uh, do they have? Oh, okay. I don't think their Kelly right. green uniforms well, have like the, the yellow the, hat or the, the yellow brim. Yeah, it's, he's got it open right there. So I would say uh, of that oh, one. Okay, I, yeah, I was wrong. I would say. Can you show me it again, Ed? Yep. I would say that I want third. Yeah, second, okay. third. So yeah. yeah, I had to ask because there's a difference between yep. the forest and there the green. Not the Eric Chavez heavy, uh-huh. no. uh, heavy forest green. So this is the 73 to 81. Yeah. Kelly Green. The, the Reggie Jackson, you know, great Oakland A's teams. Interested in the thoughts on this, White Sox, Dave? I, I hate so it's it's weird because I hate 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 their forest green and yellow combo. It reminds me of the Packers, and I just that's like yes. it, it triggers me. But when they rock the Kelly greens, like she said, by far and away my favorite uniforms in sports, by far and away, or not or in baseball rather. I love those uniforms. Mm-hmm. Kelly green is like the coolest color you can you can bust out mm-hmm. for a sports team. Hence, we were just talking about like the Eagles. Eagles. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I think they're sharp. They just pop. Not a huge Kelly Green guy. It's a you, nice, you it's a nice hat. It was on the list, and it's an iconic hat too. I would never. We- I don't think. You, I don't think anybody could wear it's it. So hard to wear. Like you just look. What would you wear? You look yeah, stupid in it's it. So but hard it's so to wear. sweet. Like you have to wear a baseball uniform with that hat. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of true. Yeah, I'm trying I to never, see if I've yeah. seen it out in like pop culture or anything like that. It's the biggest. Price. It's a big. It's a big Boston hat. I mean, those is are it tremendously Irish colors. Oh um, yeah, I guess. They, it gets Kelly. You people work Kelly Green in in Boston. They'll, 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 where they'll a will, figure it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I I think it like if we're just drafting MLB it's hats and you're looking on your TV like that one pops. So maybe it doesn't work. I I've never owned one, so maybe there's something to what you're saying. But when you turn on the TV and you see those those Kelly Greens, they they look great. Do you TV. own a Cubs hat or anything? Yeah, I got a Cubs hat. Like a 5950. No, I feel like those don't look great on me. The uh the authentic ones. So I have like a lot of 47 brand um like I got 47 brand Cubs, but I don't have the uh the standard like issue new era mm-hmm. hat. Have you tried getting the the low crown ones? I can't say that I have. You think that would be a better fit for me? That's I mean it it isn't for everyone, so I agree with like your your breakdown. But they yeah. do sell. I feel like Frankie Borelli is a big low crown guy, but it's more for people who like would rock a flex fit. Like I can't go that way. I, my head's too fucking big, so I have to wear like the high crown like mm-hmm. this. Yeah, I gotta look. That's how I have to look at that. I'm a low crown. I'd like it. I always get the space pod. You know. Yeah. Like you look like you're ready to take off. Like um, uh, I'm the same way as Coley. I gotta like I, this hat doesn't crown? even like. I don't think it it fits well on me. Well, it's got yeah. full back head. Yeah, yeah, high crown head. Yeah, I need yeah. to lead with high crown. This guy's been leading with it his whole life. And you love a, a brim that <laughs> sticks out into the next room. That's like your that look. Is, that's just the <laughs> angle of the camera. <laughs> Shut up, Ed. I, well, I get in trouble for laughing. That's what this podcast has come to. He makes a joke. He said it. Yes. I didn't say it. Yes. Shut I get up, in trouble Ed. for laughing. Shut up, Ed. Make your fucking He pick. literally just called you a hammerhead shark <laughs> with your forehead, and I get in trouble. This is not right. Uh, I'm up. <laughs> a couple different ways here, man. I'm very torn. This is like a sneaky, very hard draft. I know. It yeah. really is because there's so many good options. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with the uh, powder blue Kansas City Royals. Oh. It's a nice hat. Strong. It's strong, nice strong. I feel like the powder blue. Okay, see. Do they wear those on the field? Let me see. Let me pull up this. Uh-huh. Uh, but they did wear those? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. White Sox, David, you would they, know best. Yeah, they, they rock the powder blues all the time, and those uniforms are really sharp. Powder blues made a comeback in baseball. They're, I like it when they do the full uniform powder blue. The White Sox wear powder blues a couple times a year randomly. Uh, Blue Jays, obviously. Mm-hmm. Royals do it a lot. The Twins do it now, and the Twins are fucking clean. I love yeah, it. Yeah, those are With nice. The purple. Yep. It's a purple. Highlights. Uh, but, yeah, it's a great. I love the logo, too. That little, like, it's a, it's a clean, simple logo. I think it's, it's a great pick. 
It's kind of, and mm -hmm. it's also, it's kind of disgusting. I feel like the Royals don't get their due on their powder blue. Everyone mm -hmm. wants to suck the, the Chargers and the North Carolinas mm -hmm. dick. Yep. I, Show some respect. I think the, the Royals, Royals do it great. better. I, I don't think anybody out does the, the, the Chargers. You the Chargers, can, I, the 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 Chargers, Chargers those are a great uniform, but they're a, little, they're a little busy. So if you want something a little more simple, the Royals do it very clean, very mm -hmm. nice. It's a nice hat. It also just somehow fits well in their stadium. I don't. I can't explain something that. Something about those waterfalls yeah, out there. I don't, about get, those waterfalls. I don't get it either. When yeah. I, I don't know if this is a weird thing to say or not, but like if you think Probably of a city, you kind of associate a color with it. I just think of powder blue with Kansas City. I don't know why. I mean, it's I, probably because of the Royals, but it's interesting. It's not red. I don't know why. Because the Chiefs, yeah, you're saying? Yeah, because yeah. the Chiefs. But. It's, it's like I associate that color are, with Are you city. intentionally wearing red hoodies on draft day like all the time, though? No, why? Well, I, I, I feel like I it's think I did it like last week. I think there's been a little bit of a run where you're maybe uh, you're sir? leaning into your dictatorship no, now, finally. I, I don't notice stuff like that. I just throw on a hoodie and I mm, leave. And mm, simple man. People like you just like to speculate. Just That's wondering. Just wondering. Here. That's such a barata non move <laughs> to just fucking do this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Just the calmness of those fountains and the, the royal. It's a yeah. great pick. It's nice. Thank it's a great you. pick. Thank in baseball, Kansas City and baseball go hand in hand. I've heard yeah. that's yeah. a cool town with it great is. food. I've never it been. Is. I would actually. No, I like I'm the stadium go a lot. It's a nice stadium. I've, I've heard hey, it's great. Do a trip, yeah. man. White Sox at Royals. They it's play. Easy, yeah. They're going to play every Tuesday. They. Play, mm -hmm. I feel like every Tuesday afternoon they're playing each other. I mm -hmm. pitched a uh, road trip for next year with to Tom with you where we're going to go to the Rangers Red Wings and then to get you to come we're just going to find an abandoned building to look through. <laughs> Like the That's Simpsons. My, Remember when he bought the warehouse push. for a dollar, Coley? Oh, yeah. A buck. <laughs> I would love push. to do that, by the way. <laughs> um, so go okay. To, go to a, a building auction? Yeah, just yeah, just have it to have it. Start combos building with. Yeah. I'm a big combo starter guy. Love love a conversation piece. Powder Blue Royals off the board. Carl, you're up. I'm going Willie Stargell, 1970s Pirates pillbox hat with the three gold lines around. Like the Pirates hat, so awesome, the black and gold, but with the three lines around it, where it's like old school, like that. So the 70s Pirates, it's called the Pirates pillbox. We are hat. family. So fucking sweet. Pirates. Dude. Those uniforms are sweet. Playing Three River Stadium, I don't know. It's just sweet. Love it. Yeah, it's not like same. It's got the same vibe as the. Um, so it's weird. It doesn't. I know they've worn it so many times, but it's not on the site that I'm using. It's. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. It's, it's like. If you I, type I, in I, pirates pillbox. Yeah, it's definitely. It'll a come thing. up. Um, it's because the uh, Kansas City wasn't on there either. But um, so sweet. It's dude. got the. Uh, it's got the Kelly Green factor though too. Like yeah. I don't know what Pittsburgh people do. What do they wear there? But Pittsburgh, not the yellow that, one. That's I'm the only color one. that that's they true. wear. Yeah, that's they're, true. Their yeah. teams Mind are all the same color, so. Oh wear. my god! Yeah, the Penguins. Yeah, I guess that, the yeah, Penguins. Yeah. Sweet. The, the Penguins did that. They when they came in the league, they were like dark blue and light blue. They wear those throwbacks every once in a while. They switch just to be like we're in with Pittsburgh. They intentionally picked those colors to be like everybody else in the city. The fact that they did do it off the bat is uh, a black mark. On yeah, the it is absolutely. Yeah. Well, is. they didn't start winning until they switched. They they st yeah. they switched and then they get Lemieux and now. How long is it? Go with this. Uh, they they switched to those black and yellows in the mid '80s. That'd be kind of nice to have every team the same color, right? It, it, the fact that it's not like a law is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like, like it. Yeah. it should be a law. Like every city should just get, be get like Biden. medieval but times. The Bears the took their colors from Illinois. That is true. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. but someone someone there was a breakdown there, and they took their team name kind of from the Cubs. They said. Like the, we got the Cubs in Chicago. We'll be the Bears. The Decatur Staley. Hey, shout out to the Pirates too. If you've if you've been to PNC, they got. I mean, I know it's a steel city, but they got just the best awesome. fucking statues around the ballpark. They got a Willie Stargell out there that's Huge. like fourteen feet. They got a Clemente that'll just knock your fucking socks off. You going out if, yellow or black? You got everything but a good baseball team. Yeah, yeah basically. Really oh, the I everything. I, that's right. I've been on a little bit of a crusade against owners in baseball over the last couple of months because of all the bullshit lockout stuff. Their owner is the fucking worst guy in sports. Worst. He is awful. Well, a newspaper guy. What do you want? Him and this side of the story to too. touch on this hat, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Give us more, Dave. Tell us what. I mean, I, I could. You're the fashion I would guy. never in a million years put this hat on in an 
unironic manner and like go outside with it. Like that's too much going on. The three stripes like horizontal around the hat can't do it. It's a little conductory for you. It, it is like a conductor mm-hmm. hat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, we, sorry, you going with the dominant yellow or dominant black? Black. Okay. I just didn't know. I just like because you know. All right. I want pirates representation. I want the pillbox. I like the black and yellow. Um, and now we go from uh, we go from Orioles to Pirates. So I'm got a little zany. I'm gonna give, I got to give you guys a 96 mile an hour fastball. I got to give you some fucking juice here. There, there's just to me no better classic every day. It goes back to I think 1958, and I'm taking the Giants. I'm taking the black and orange. Just a simple black with the orange logo. I love the San Fran logo, and I think they wear that. I think that's basically the only hat they ever wear. Yes. Road, home, whatever. Like, that's just it. They have one hat. I think that scores some points, too. This I is did, a I big just, moment for the draft. I was, draft. Just about I was to say, say that. Yeah. When is someone going to dip into the traditional? The classics. Classics. The White Sox hat. I mean, kind of. But they, no, the White Sox have changed their logo yeah, forever. But this, so, but this hat will never leave. Yeah, like the Giants don't now, do what the White Sox do. <clears throat> and it's like the White Sox have they have variations. variations. But this hat will, White Sox hat will always, always beat the organization for as long as it exists. Now, obviously, there's been different variations prior to it, but it'll always be there now. It's not the oldest long-standing hat because there's another hat out there that I, that's been around uh, for over a hundred years now. But it's um, I love the black and the orange, and I just like it, I just picture like Willie Mays like fucking doing crazy shit in center field. Like mm-hmm. he was wearing the same hat that like Tim Lincecum comes wearing. It's yeah. crazy. Mm-hmm. Wonder what no, he's doing. These I days. like it. I'm I'm in, I'm surprised it was the first classic to go off the board, but I respect the hat. Mm-hmm. I do. There's something about same thing with like I said with the Royals. Like, there's something about seeing that uh, the McCovey Cove and seeing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's something about that that I like. Yep. The San Fran. Yes. I like the SF. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like how baseball does that little inter- intersecting letter logo thing. Kind of. They're the. I think they're the only sport that does it, and they really lean into it in baseball. I think it always plays. Mm-hmm. That's like an old thing, right? That goes back to like the early 20th century it, when it's like, hey, we gotta get a new logo here. Right? What do you say here, guys? <laughs> they probably had like very like, well, we have this woman who the seamstress will stitch it into our hat so she can only do intersecting letters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nothing like fancy. The, the, yeah. <laughs> no drunk birds the on loom this. Yeah. She has yeah. only. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, good pick. I'm, I'm, you know, like this is a this is a this is a tough draft. Chief it's said very it. I'm hard. Say it. It's a it's tough ve- draft. I'm struggling. Like, I'm looking at my next pick, and I, I'm like all over the place. So, uh, unfortunately, but fortunately for this show, we have to talk about Upstart. Okay. Perfect. Um, no, bro. So Upstart, mm. listen. What's wrong? Oh, go ahead. What's Keep wrong? thinking. Keep thinking while you do the okay. ad. Yeah. Uh, up, listen, Upstart. If you maybe like got in too deep with the hat collection, look into Upstart because saying goodbye to high interest credit card debt is one of the first steps toward financial independence, but the interest month after month can feel like you're in a never-ending hamster wheel. No one likes to be in a hamster <laughs> wheel, Dave. I mean, Nicole, you were basically financially ruined by collecting hats, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Will be for the rest of my life. Right. <laughs> well, you won't be because you're going to use Upstart. Yes. That's true. Mm-hmm. Correct. So that's where Upstart comes in, Coley. Upstart powered personal loans can help you pay down high interest debt all online with simple and easy to understand payment terms. Upstart has helped over 1.8 million customers on their path to financial freedom. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, Upstart can get you one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Upstart knows you're more than just a credit score. So rather than looking at the credit score alone, Upstart's model considers other factors like your income, employment, and other information provided in your loan application to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You can check your rates in minutes for loans between $1,000 to $50,000 without impacting your credit score. You can even receive these funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. So don't wait and check your rate today at upstart.com slash Eddie. That's upstart.com slash Eddie, E-D-D-I-E. Don't forget to check your rate today. And uh, don't forget to use our URL because it lets us know that we sent you and that helps us out a lot. So loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application. Just want to reiterate that one more time and go to upstart.com slash Eddie and start being smarter about your debt today. All right, I'm up again. Um, okay, he's back. Uh, this is really tough. I, I know I know we're gonna keep saying that, but I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the first repeat. I'm gonna go with the first repeat. I'm gonna go with the uh, 
the Marlins, but I got to go with the fucking, is it teal? What yeah. color is it? I want that the, in the fifth. Yeah. The 93. Yeah. yeah. This is so sick. Dude, it's awesome. And I was, that's why I know you the said The Rick Renneria. This is the Rick Renneria hat. It's awesome. It's, it's awesome. A, that's the one Marlins hat I would have gone with. Yeah, that's why. So I'm interested to hear Coley's def- like argument against this one. Yeah, they didn't win shit in it, um, first of all. And second of all, I don't think it's as versatile. Like, it's a sick hat. I, teal is a great color. Uh, I do think the all blacks is a cleaner look and it makes the teal of the Marlin pop more, which I, I like more. That's a fact. You're right about mm-hmm. that. But I was, so I'm looking at the 93, 96. He's got the black brim. Um, there's something about that contrast that really just fucking, I feel like really I really hits home. I don't know if this is actually true, but when I think of that hat, I think Jeff Conine and I, <laughs> and I, I don't even know if he ever wore it, but uh, like, he I, probably, but that to me, that's Jeff Conine. I think Dempster now just because he was in the other day and I was looking at you know, that's a good point yeah stuff but uh, well, that was when he like broke in right yes yeah uh huh yes but that you know that world they were then the World Series right that World I Series. don't think so they did not I think they had switched to black for the ninety seven oh damn okay yeah um, regardless just before that era then I really like this hat it's fucking super sharp I loved it super I had it. I was hoping I could steal it in the fifth round I thought it would be a big steal. And I wanted to I wanted to have that conversation with Cully too. I think it's just a classic hat. But Cully brings up a good point versatility wise. And but yeah. then it's like I took the Pirates hat not thinking about wearing it out. I just took it because I like the way that feels on a baseball field. Yeah. So well, the the Pirates one. I mean, I know you love a unique pick and a, a unique shape. And like that's the only, to my knowledge, pillbox hat you, that was even on the board. Um, so yeah, I understand it with the Pirates one. I like. I, I kind of just look through my closet for this draft. Like, what are things I've owned? What are things I've wear? That, taking into consideration the teams at the time they were wearing, like, I think there's a lot of factors at play here. Mm-hmm. I have another comment, too. I, I kind of feel like if you win a championship, your logo and your uniform should be, like, frozen in time. Like, whatever you whatever you were wearing when you won, like, that, you should just stop fucking around with Never your uniform. Change. Like, this is, like... That's what, that's what Kraft did. Robert Kraft said... Like, I will not change these uniforms until Brady leaves. And that's exactly what he did. I think that's smart. Like, I even, like, the Celtics are fucking around now with a million different – I guess every – But does that go – That's Nike. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't that go against your point, though, now that the Eagles won, not in Kelly Green? Yeah, that's tough for them. Yeah. But then not- I think you could say – I think you could say, like, hey, we won it in 1960 with the, you know, the NFL championship with, you know, whoever – Wearing the Kelly Greens and the All silver right. wings. So make so. it a rule, unless if there's a loophole, then use a loophole. Yes. Barada, barada yeah, yeah, yeah. Barada 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 <laughs> any you. pretty blue here? Any any trepidation I'm, about going baby blue to teal? Being, I am concerned about being too uh, too sunny, sunny state. I, I yeah. don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna appeal to our. You know, it's fucking April, boys. Like I don't know if I'm gonna how much we're gonna appeal to the, the gloomy mm-hmm. Midwest kind of thing. So I, I, it is a concern if you're wondering, but. This is a big big pick for Chief coming up, too. I think yeah. Chief has some two, two real will, blue bloods here. This is an interesting I will junction. say, getting Teal Marlins in a third is great value. I'm very happy mm-hmm. about that. You should be happy. And I, I love li- that hat. I like the three I have a lot. Chief, you're up. I also think Teal is significantly different than Powder Blue. And yeah. yeah. I don't know about significantly. It's different. Though. And going against my thing that I literally just said... <laughs> I think the Marlins should go back to these full time <laughs> and uh, and the, the, like just talk to the Dolphins too and be like, hey, like we got to get the Dolphins got to go back to their uniforms. Yeah. We're going to wear our teals. Like we'll be, we'll be Teal Town USA. The Marlins uniforms now are just like, I want to puke looking at them. They no, sick not that me. bad. I think they're horrible. Oh, no, Marlins. Sorry, I was thinking Dolphins. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, Marlins, I think the Dolphins right. are pretty bad now too. Really? But oh, with no. the Marlins, like they did that whole thing where they had this fucking stupid statue out yeah. in center field. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like you guys just tried way too hard to Yeah, be, I agree. Miles, that stadium Miles. I heard is just trash. Um, Chief, you're up. I'm going to repeat too, and I'm going to Coley's list. I'm taking the Mariners hat with the teal brim. Like I think of that as like Griffey, A Rod, Ichiro. Those like what they win 114, 116 games with that hat. One sixteen. They didn't win the World <laughs> Series, but that was a Randy Johnson. Like that when I'm thinking of like the great glory days, nineties, and that was probably like my peak as a baseball fan was like nineties, early two thousands. Those Mariners hats played, and they had like some of the coolest guys. And and now I mean you don't name a Seattle Mariners player from like ten years ago. You can't like every like they're like they to me in my brain like that franchise died when they went away from this hat. A little, little disrespectful to Raul Abanez. 
Fine. You know? I'm fine with disrespecting Raul Urban, yes. I think of him more of uh, as a royal. royal? Yeah. Well, he's yeah. got the big deal. Yeah. But Mariners with the, the two-tone Mariners. Thought Coley. I mean, you got a you got a rebuttal here. You just got two uh, opposite. I mean, ones. yeah. Kyle brought this up in the first round. I stand by my thought process. Like, I I think there's a reason these teams make these alternates and not their standards. But I mean, you think the teams are infallible with this? The Mariners specifically, I shit on pretty frequently because <laughs> all the players you just named, I almost exclusively think of with other organizations because um, they're a bad, poorly run team. Yeah. Um, but I do think. I don't know. It's so, like two tone to me. Mike Cameron is so hit or miss. Uh, not that I think that the Mariners one is a miss by any means. I just think kind of like the, the the Marlins. Like I was just talking about. Like I do think the the teal in the S pops a little bit more uh, when it's all navy. Now I get a lot of people clearly like the two tones here mm-hmm. and even three tones uh, based on the first three picks in the draft. But yeah, I don't know. I I, I typically like a, a, just a splash of color as opposed to it all over the place let me ask you a question what color eyes you got there coley what was that what color eyes do you have i can't tell you got, you got green eyes brown okay well when someone wear someone has blue eyes and they wear a blue shirt kind of makes their eyes pop and i think that that can apply here with this two-tone hat it makes the pop makes the the logo teal pop a little bit more when you have in that undertone something to think potentially. about potentially potentially also i feel like that you just disrespected Felix Hernandez pretty hard. Yeah, very hard. That is true. Very hard. I mean, that, that one game where he had against uh, Daisuke, the, uh, he announced his presence with authority. I feel like he his his career didn't really – he had a few like he awesome, was awesome pitching years. Like 300 he was awesome. innings a year. He I mean, was. All awesome, but he fell off, though, big time. Right, isn't he? Uh, yeah, all are really good, ball. I'd say. First, first ballot, Coley? First ballot. Yeah, I think so. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, King Felix. There, yeah. He had like a fucking eight-year stretch there where he was just unhittable, and it, it wasn't yeah. like a two-year thing. I mean, he was it, he was basically like the best pitcher in the American League for a, for a while. Mm-hmm. It was it looks was like it was when, 05 to sixteen. So yeah, pretty yeah. good, pretty good run, right? Yeah, yeah, he's quite yeah. good. He's got fifty-four wins above Holy replacement. Fuck. You know what? That was disrespectful to. Yeah, King I think Felix. he's all, I Thank think you. he's all famer. Yeah. But they didn't surround him with anything, so he kind of yeah. Just, it's a good yeah. point. They, well, then they got good, and then he was done. So the Mariners were the last team to make the change over to Moneyball. They were the last. The scout that they had was the GM. His name was Jack something with a Z, and he was known for being like, "No, I only work off my gut, and my instinct." And this was like deep into 2012 and 13 when they're like, "Hey, dude, there's like a decade of using computers," and he was like, "Nope." We're taking Mike Zanino in the first round. <laughs> so fucking catcher, third overall. And, and like his gut was not pointing to results on the field either. So I, I truly would love to be in those meetings with his owner where he's just like, trust me, the tide is turning. Sometimes you need Mike Zanino. Um, all right, Mariners hat with teal brim off the board. It's a good pick. Coley, back to you. We're going, uh, I mean, a lot of duplicates here. There's, I feel like I could probably get this hat in the fifth round, but I mean, this is a at a certain point you gotta you gotta step up and and pick what's what's truly in your heart. 2004 World Series patch on the fucking side, Boston Red Sox put on the board. I was gonna do that too with my White Sox hat. Does that make the hat though? For I sure. They, listen, the you can still to this day. By the 2004 yeah, you, series, yeah, 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 in Boston, like it, it, the fact that it's not the only, they should still wear it in game. That should be their hat <laughs> with the 04 World Series. That's how much <laughs> that World Series meant to this city. Like the Patriots won two Super Bowls before the 04 uh, World Series, and it felt like we didn't become winners until, like Brady could have won all six of them. It, they would not have been stamped until the Red Sox got their one. That's how important the 04 World Series was. So at my socks park, not your socks. I don't know. It might be the same at Fenway. Um, you can get the White Sox 05 patch on a hat, and it's like eight bucks more than just a standard New Era hat. Like they I price gouge you on it because of that patch. Yeah, I haven't. I mean, they price gouge you so heavy at Fenway. I don't even think I would notice. Um, but I, I, I typically get all my hats online, so I, ha- I, I can't speak on that. Um, in 18, I know right after the World Series, I 
to get it fastest, you go to Fenway to get it. And they're like $80 that day. Like it's the yeah, 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 yeah. gouging and everyone's there just shoveling money over. Yeah, I mean, it's second classic off the board. Can I change mine to the patch? No, no one else. Is I mean, I mean, to be quite honest, I don't know. You're not going to be able to really see it on the. Oh graphic yeah, that's anyways. true too. So, but the people will know that that's the people, what Coley yeah, wants. I want the record to important. know to note that I want the patch. You well, though, we will update the record the, though. Yeah. Yeah. Can we update the, the record? We can update the record, but his, right. his heart was not Harry. In that place. Our update. We got it. Updated. Please update the log, Harry. Whatever ID sends me, I type out. In Thank the you, Harry. <laughs> that's that's a pretty. That sounds like that sounds like you don't think for yourself, Harry. Thank you, Mr. Harry. Um, White Sox, Dave, you're up again. I'm going right sounds back like, to the classics. Sounds like Harry's going to hit his bonus this month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, for real. Uh, I'm going right back to the classics. I'm just going to the, the Dodgers straight-up blue hats. Clean as, clean as can be. Nothing too poppy. Do- Dodger blue. Dodger blue. I love it. Just a clean hat. I love those uniforms as a whole, too. I heard that They're great. sucks. It does. It's awful. The I Dodger think. dogs fucking suck. The too. worst thing I've ever had in my life. Fuck that place. Absolutely. No, it's fine. Dave's just Dave doesn't. I'm surprised Dave took the Dodgers. Dave doesn't like the Dodgers, and why is that, Ed? They spend money. Oh yeah. They pay well, their I know. I love the Dodgers because of that. Oh, I'm I'm very on the record as being like the world's biggest Steve Cohen fan right now because he says. I don't care about bottom line. I care about winning championships, and that's what he's doing. He's trying to buy championships, and I wish all owners would do that. And uh, the group that owns the Dodgers do do that. And But they're, to get back to the topic at hand, I just love the Dodgers hat. It's just clean as can be. What if Steve Good. Cohen uh, pays for those players by stealing from the American middle class? I don't give a fuck. It's a good hat. <laughs> it's a good hat. Uh <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Okay. If I was a med, do you think, all right, Clem. I'm just asking. It was just a question. Clem might be rich as fuck. I don't know. But assuming Clem's a middle class guy, do you think Clem would give a fuck? I'm just, you know, I watched a documentary last night and very much oh, vilified he, Steve Cohen. He's, he's, a, he's a scumbag. Yeah. But he's an awesome owner. Easy, easy. I, I have nothing against Steve Cohen. I, I, I bet you don't. I would give my fucking nutsack to have him own the Chicago White Sox. Would you really, though? Would you give up your nutsack? I'd give up my nuts, and you'd have to like transplant them with fake balls, so you can't tell if I that I don't have. But you from a cos- you'd shoot, from a cosmetic yeah, exactly. standpoint, would you <laughs> shoot blanks for Steve Cohen? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I'll I'll have my sperm frozen like Austin Powers or something. I don't know. That's, that's a fair trade off for mankind, though. I think we need another white tag. Yeah, like what? we need to keep the line. What do you mean what? I'm just trying to. Th- what would you use as the fa- the balls grapes? Like just I don't I, as placeholder. Get whatever big balls he wants. It's cosmetic. That's true. You can have giant get, balls. But if you could do your, if you had to redo your balls, full size would you balls. go fucking full size? I w- I would go something more manageable. You want to be aerodynamic? If they're going to be fake balls, they might as well just kind of fucking fit in a little bit. You want to be I would all ask them to nuts. get Dave Didn't, wants like actual bigger dude, balls. Straight up balls. Oh, I, I, I would even want replace my, them. Balls suck. Oh, balls, balls are the worst. Yeah, they're yeah. awful. So that's why wouldn't you want to go with a more controlled sack? I would. Sp- I mean, in comfort. I know how I to. The, I think the key is you get also a zipper added, so you can add giant balls if you want them. You can get small mm. ones. You can go no balls for a day if you're riding a bike or something. I think that that's that's kind, the key. Kind of so, like yeah. the uh, this hat draft we're doing. You like two tone. You like the standard. Whatever you want. You have to customize your balls. That gets scary when you have a couple drinks. Though it might be you know. No, I would just. I would ask them to duplicate. Like to scale my current balls and then replace them with fake balls that are like of the same. Who's paying for this? Steve Cohen? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's got the money. He's like, you walk into Steve room? Cohen's office, he's got a jar of White Sox Dave's nuts on his desk. <laughs> what is like a paperweight? What is I took ball this replacement? Guy's nuts to get this team. <laughs> Dave's right. like going through the so World Series parade, like holding up a glass jar of his balls. Yeah. Like <laughs> There's a mason jar. <laughs> I gave these up for Steve Cohen and the, just, and the White Sox. I mean, like smelling it, small. So he just he gets a good whiff of your balls to start. His I would day. assume it's a very easy surgery, correct? I mean, they neuter dogs and like castration. Yeah, I think they got that one. Down. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm talking. I'm not talking castration. That's like like that's you're penis s- yeah. slicing the Eunuch. whole dick off. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. The thing they do with sheep when they just like tie them around and they fall off. 
Oh yeah, yeah, uh, like yeah, a rubber. Yeah. Like you know how the yeah. guy who puts rubber bands around a watermelon, and then sooner or later the watermelon explodes. That sounds awful. Would you let someone put like how many rubber I, bands I, could I, you I, put on your balls <laughs> until your balls? I love fall the White off. Sox. There's not much I want to do to see another World Series. Three World Series. You get a dynasty. I don't think I could rubber band your balls. Rubber band my nuts. <laughs> I think the, point, I think the I, reason they do it is because it's painless. Like, it's they not committed. Up and they fall off. They like like you're this plucking not, I mean, grapes off a grapevine, just kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, people this are is crazy. You'd have Bryce Harper in right field right now. You, shut you'd up have, about Bryce Harper. You've had fucking Manny Machado. With, like, you, think shut about up him. about him. All you got to give away is nuts. That's all you got to do. I said I would do it. I just want to be you put got, under while I do it. You guys, you guys aren't curious to see what the next generation of WSD is like. I feel like that's. I don't yeah, think the world too. needs. That. There's enough WSD I, running around. I want to see if your kid's beard goes up to his eyes, or yeah. if it gets back to like depending on who you mate with. Like back towards normal humanity. Like if we're going forward or back. I get a lot of shit about this. There's a couple other people at the company. I'm not going to name names, but Jersey Jerry's like entire <laughs> face is covered in hair, like a caveman, and nobody says a word to him. I'm glad you didn't name names. I didn't name names. <laughs> I didn't name names. <laughs> I'd rather have my beard than your beard. Uh, All right, yeah, so you, took the, you I, took the Dodgers. I'm surprised you took the Dodgers. Why? That's a fucking awesome hat. It is awesome, but it just doesn't. I don't know. I I, I don't know. It doesn't. I love the color. That's like my favorite color. Day. That exact blue is like my favorite color. It's a nice. It's it's a great pick. Benny the Jet. Rider Brooklyn Dodgers. Yeah. Dodgers? yeah. LA I don't, did they have the same uniforms back when they were in New York? It's just a B on it. Yeah, a B. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar, that's right. The Jackie Robinson was wearing a B. Yep. Yeah. When did they, they move have a great the fifties? Blue too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My I had an older cousin who would always wear that. And I'm like, this guy's the coolest guy in the world. He was like 12 years old. I'm like, that is the coolest hat. He's the coolest guy. <laughs> You're up again, David. I am going to pass on what is top on my list because I think I might be able to get it later on. Smart. For my last pick. Smart. Save it for Mr. Irrelevant. I am sticking with what I like. I'm just going straight up St. Louis Cardinals red hats. That was going to be Disgusting. my next pick. It's a great hat. It's Disgusting. Kill yourself. Well, I... I with the STL, yeah, the STL, yeah, not the not the other one. Um, all just, red, all no red. bird on this one. Yeah, a birdless hat. I mean, it's unbelievable, it? Dave. <laughs> he had a chance to put a bird on that, Dave. No, it's I, a good hat. I think it's a great hat. They also a have logo, a, a great powder uniform. blue yeah. color combo. I don't know if it's biased, but I could never like get through it to seeing it's a cool hat. I well, would, it's their home hat, right? We yeah. Don't, I, yeah like, I think their aways are way sweeter, but it's a. Mm. I think of this hat, when you say this hat, I think of Chris Carpenter of the dip in, mm -hmm. about to go 125 pitches, NLDS, game one, that they win eight to one, that he has no business pitching into the eighth inning, but he's still doing it anyways because mm -hmm. you're not taking him out of the fucking game. That's what I think uh, of this hat. Just the standard. You don't like that? Sick. No. David Freese wearing this I mean, hat. Look at what you're wearing right now as we speak. What, a color? I hate all the red things now. I just, I, I'm, I'm out on red. I mean, if, if you're, this is the, that's the whole hat, it's red. So yeah, Ray Lin are. Ray Langford's legging out a double. Yeah, yeah getting yeah. in a scoring position. Edgar Renteria. Oh, Pujols God. going back to St. Louis. Yuck. Is he gonna hit twenty one more, Coley? Yeah, I think that's what he needs. All right, twenty one. Five hundred. Seven hundred. Down. Like, dude, he's propped up on so many fucking. Over, he's gonna be propped ever. up on so many PEDs this year. Sorry. And that's the thing. So they they with the lockout they weren't allowed to drug test. There has been some monsters that I have noticed. Like wasn't that only for a few weeks though? Like no, no, no. It was the whole. It was three. Like, it was three months. You could have get a couple cycles in there. Well, no, it expired in January. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then like they started testing again once the season came back. So I don't. I don't know if that's gonna play. And Pujols is like he's already 54 years old. It's like the, my favorite open open secret in sport that he's just lied about his age this whole time, and he just keeps playing. I love it. I hope he does. I Th that was he weird because he he went to a junior college, Western Oklahoma. Yeah, Kansas City. Oh, was it Oklahoma? Yeah. I thought it was Kansas City too, but he, maybe he's from Kansas City or something lived like there that. or something. But everybody knows that state. he lied about his or is lying about his age. So it's like, how do you do that while going to school? Well, I. Uh, I I was going to say my favorite pool hole story was uh, we sent a Red Sox rookie scout out to that junior college, uh, which is why I thought it was Kansas City because the story enrages me. He's playing shortstop. He turned an unassisted triple play and hit a grand slam in the same game. And then we took Freddie Sanchez over him. That's a tough beat. Real tough. 
<laughs> Real bad beat. Um, okay, red STL script, Cardinals head off the board. Coley, you're up again. So I was keying in on the Cardinals. I didn't think anyone else. I, I If anyone was going to take a Cardinals hat, I figured it would be White Sox, Dave, since everyone else in that room is a Cubs guy. Um, but like Carl's been saying, if you get a chance to put a bird on a hat, you put a bird on a hat. And specifically, in 1950, the St. Louis Cardinals had perhaps the best bird on a hat. This guy is ready to throw 120 miles per hour right in your fucking ear hole. Bob and he's also wearing a hat. This, I mean, this Cardinals hat from 1950, I like their other birded hats. I think this is their best bird hat. Oh, let me see. That uh, guy's like fucking about oh, to wow. beat all our asses. I've yeah, never seen, I've guy, never seen this hat. This guy's angry. He's convicted. He's taking a sign. He's like staring in right now. He's looking oh, yeah. in at the catcher. He's trying to figure out if he, is he shaking. Is Depending he, on how you look at the hat and how fast you glance at it, it might or might not look like he's got a raging heart on. <laughs> if we're all looking at the same head, at least. I think David. I mean, it's it's a fair David. point to bring up, I think. I don't see any boner whatsoever. I, I don't want to mess with this bird. I've never seen this hat before. No, I've, I've never, never seen either. it either. Do you have one? I do not know. It usually sells out when it goes on sale. I also think currently the Memphis Redbirds minor league has a similar hat. Uh, which kind of devalues it a bit. I was saving this for the fifth round, but since St. Louis was already the topic of conversation, I had to, I had to grab it here. I love this one. The, they also like there's another a couple other St. Louis hats, but I don't think they've they, have they ever won worn the two birds on the bat on the field. I don't think they have. I think that's just across their chest. I yeah. know they sell they yeah, right they sell the hat with it, but I don't know that they've ever worn it on the field, which is why I didn't draft it. Maybe spring training mm -hmm. or something. I don't I don't recall Maybe. either. But the, that's the, my favorite. The yeah, two birds on the bat just having a chat. Yeah, it was, it was great. <laughs> Chopping uh, it up. Yeah, this bird this bird showed up in a bad mood. Yeah, oh, no. he's pissed this, off yeah, ready to yeah. shove fastballs down fucking throats right now. It, he's hiding the ball back Bob there too. Gibson. Like he'll. He'll knock you out and strike you out simultaneously. I would love to see Bob Gibson pitching in the year 2022 because, like, I've seen all these black and white grainy footage of him, and he is the filthiest fucking pitcher I've ever seen. Yeah, he is. I Granted, the mound was like a mountain back then, but, like, still, it's like, holy shit, this guy would dominate 50 years later with all the advances in technology and weightlifting and all that. That bird would shit hard on cars. That's for sure. Hard. He would do it, and he would look you in the eye and With say, authority. do something about it. With authority, it would shit on cars. Have you ever uh, shit on a car? No. I had a friend who shit on a, a girl I went to high school with parents' Cadillac Escalade to prove a point. Uh, like on the hood? Yeah. Oh, wow. And what was that point? You can't get down that road. <laughs> All right. Okay. Save it for another day. Uh, Chief. All right. This is another one where I'm like, I don't know if, if this is going to go over well. I love the 1980 Philadelphia Phillies, that darker, like, maroon hat. It's got the little baseball and the negative space for the P. Um, yeah. I think it's a clean look, uh, kind of a unique color in baseball and maybe in kind of all of sports. I feel like no one rocks that specific color. I think it's a great hat. So I don't know. Have you, you guys know what I'm talking about? I'm or no? it up right now. I, yeah. I, I, I think I know. Is this like I Mike, yeah. What? Mike, yeah, yeah, Mike Schmidt. Schmidt. Yeah, Mike um, Schmidt. Yeah. Like that era. Uh, they had Steve powder Carlton. blues. Steve Carlton. They definitely had powder blues. Yeah, these, these, are, these are cool. Yeah. These are cool. So mm -hmm. that's it. Phillies maroon. Phillies maroon, yeah. I I think the Phillies just in general have a very good hat. Yeah. I like their yep. I like their hat. Um, Clean logo. I like when they have the little pinstripes oh man, too. I forgot about this one. Don't look. Don't look. Uh, I here. just saw it. <laughs> Get out of here, Ed. I just saw it. Get out of here, Ed. Uh, it's your Ed's, fault. Ed's cheating right now. It's He's your fault for picks. speaking. All right, so Philly's uh, maroon 80s hat off the board. Uh, it's back to me. Um, let me just make sure that they wore this one. Is that okay? I mean, you had probably 20 what does minutes that even to mean? figure what is, that out. What does that mean? Well, I'm, you know, I'm ho all right, all right, I know what I'm doing. I'm, not, I'm doing the 1998 Arizona Diamondbacks hat, the white one. The white one? Yes. Oh, I was looking for a white hat. I'll pull it up for you. It's nice. It's a good hat. It's a nice hat. Is it with the snake? Oh yeah, the, that's a great hat. Yeah, it's yeah, it's okay. it's a Rubio Dorazo. That's oh, that's yeah. what I think. Of. Tony Womack. Womack. Tony Womack. <laughs> you remember that guy, Quinn number forty-four? McCracken. He could steal some bases at Tony Womack. <laughs> uh huh. Yes, I like the white nineteen 
98. It's got the purple brim. Mm -hmm. It's good to have a little purple in there. I feel like no team has tried to get their uniforms right and failed more miserably since then than the Arizona <laughs> Diamondbacks. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And eventually they're just like, we can't choose a color, so we're going to just do both and we're going to fade it. We're just going to fade it. So mm -hmm. they, they suck. Their uniforms stink now. I'm happy to get that one. Yeah, uh, they're bad now. Yeah, it's not, it's Awful. not good. And those are like Randy. Jo I mean, what about Randy Johnson? He's the man. Randy Johnson, Schilling. Yes. Yeah, Who like, else was on that team? Beyond Young Kim. Kim. Matt, yeah. Matt yeah. Williams. Kraken, yeah. Jay Bell. Luis Gonzalez. Luis Gonzalez. Gonzalez yeah. Yeah. I mean, who, for, who could forget Steve Finley in center field? Yeah. Obviously, mm -hmm. Reggie Sanders and right. Steve Finley was the 1 1 pick one year, I think. I don't know. I want to say he was Damian 1 1. Damian Miller. Damian yeah, Miller was a good Miller. catcher. Mm -hmm. Steve Finley, was he the guy who was also a punter for Nebraska? Am I thinking the right guy? No, that was uh, he played that, for the White Sox for Southern a minute. Southern Illinois, Steve Finley. Uh, hold on, let me look. Darren Erstad. Darren Erstad, yeah. yeah. Okay. He's the head coach in Nebraska for baseball now, I want to say. Oh, really? He's or was? He's, he's out. He's out? He was there for a minute. You like this one, Coley? It's not my favorite Diamondbacks hat. I think their strength, like uh, the – Retro Diamondbacks hats are big at like music festivals, I feel like, just because they throw so many colors into the mix, like Chief was just saying, that I think going white and a white hat. I mean, Ed, as bigger fellas, there's no scarier color than white. There's like, being... you know, you're getting that thing dirty immediately. Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, I mean, the hat's got a chance at least. You know? Yeah. Like... Sweat, sweat lines? Yeah, sweat oh, lines they, the, the shelf life is. The shelf life is horrible but you know it's good for a summer you know you know what you're getting mm -hmm. sometimes it's good to just get an instant you know that's it um okay so the white 1998 dimebacks hat off the board carl you're up absolutely stunned that this one's still on the board here i'm taking the old school brewers robin you out oh, yeah wow well, that was my next one see i, I, I that's the one i was gonna take fucking i didn't classic. put it on my list because i assumed it was going in the first round and once we started talking about the montreal logo like the most standard one that everyone knows makes something else is yeah, yeah the, the mb the glove on that brewer's hat so the 70s brewers mitt <laughs> yeah hat. yeah that's tremendous value i overlooked it yeah <laughs> I overlooked it. I'm gonna I honest. honestly didn't think it was going to get touched by you guys for the same reason the Cardinals one didn't get that's touched. That's what I was kind it's of not thinking. as much to disdain. Yeah. Well, they're in the American League for so long. Oh, that's yeah, that's yeah. yeah, that's true. That's not fair. as much now, disdain. Are you, are you going yellow on the front, Carl? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm going yellow front. Not the all blue with the mid. I'm going to go right. yellow front with the, with the blue outline or with the blue back. Yeah, I like it. I mean, and, it, and that's one of those hats that actually got cooler by, I think, the company 47 because they started making, like, the soft back. You know what I mean? Like, the, the regular ball cap, and then people started wearing those. That's popular. The Nationals have a popular iteration of it. Um, that but, went away. That fourth round is crazy value like, on that. Insane. What I had that as – I, I mean, I've been taking them off, but that was the top five hat for me, like, no questions asked. I just didn't think anybody was going to touch it. Yeah, I was hoping to get in the next one too. Damn. All right, Carl, one more. So I got to get strategic here because um, Ed and Coley are going to split the Marlins vote, and Chief and Coley are going to split the Mariners vote. But do I want to split a vote with Ed? Because I don't know. Hmm. You don't. I might. Oh. Oh, you got some brewing up. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take just the classic Expos blue. Right. I'm gonna take the classic all blue Expos. I wanted Expos on my list coming in here. There's a big, really big heavy hitter on the list available, but I love the Giants pick as my traditional classic. I wanted an Expos and I won't be intimidated to not be able to like I can't let you scare me out of taking Expos. Was that a good pick? No. It was no, yes, it was. It was a good pick. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, this that is this is where Midwest this is this like, is no, the hardest yeah. part of the draft because you get to the point where like I love my board I really I don't know how to close yeah, it out. Yeah, I like I'm going it. Obviously, I think it gets crushed by the one I have, but it's still very <laughs> nice. It's still very nice. What do you think, Cole? You're you shaking disagree? your head. You're mad at me. What do you think? Oh, I think the all blues like leaps and bounds better than the little white hats. That's, back, like, that's crazy, oh, especially not even mention the helmet version of mine. Yeah, that's well, true. We're not talking helmets, Ed. We didn't draft helmets. Well. I can't help people's brains, Coley. If that's what they think of as well, that helps. We should vote. do football helmets. I wonder if yeah, Ken Jack is going to get his bonus by putting on the batting helmet for the Expos too. 
That's <laughs> that's disrespectful to Ken Jack. Uh, Tim disrespectful. Rock Rain said a lot of drugs while wearing this hat. They also won a lot of games. That was a good team in '94. It would have been nice to see the uh, the Hall Montreal uh, Expos go toe to toe with the White Sox. But Jerry Reinsdorf did Jerry Reinsdorf things. <laughs> How do you feel about him? I hate that man. I'm like the doctor in Jurassic Park when he's looking at him. He's like, I really hate that man. All right, I'm up again. I need my last pick, and I'm very conflicted. There's a hat I really like, and I would take no-brainer, but then there's another. Do an ad read. Think about it. (laughs) That's fucked up. I got to do it. I got to go classics. I got to take the NY. Yep. I got to do it. I got to do it. Fucking sell out. Listen, listen. You could say what you want. And listen, Nicole, I'll take the shit. You deserve to shit on this. You deserve to not like it. I understand completely. White Sox, Dave, I'm interested to see where you're going to stand here because you don't like the fan base more. They're um, scumbags and they're grease balls. I hate yeah, them all. But, like, I just said – and I took them in the jersey draft and I said the same thing. You just can't – like, their memorabilia is awesome. Yeah. It's it classic, yeah. man. It's so classic. Fucking, they wore it in Indiana Jones. Like, you know, mm-hmm. it's just... It's just the guys who wear the hat, though. Like, the guy who that buys this hat and wears this hat sucks. It's a that, great so, hat. That yes. Just, that they're is, all losers. That would be fourth grade version of myself. I had the red <laughs> Yankees hat from the... Uh, red Durst. I, see, I think of it as Mace from More Money, More Problems. Oh, uh, also that, true. Yeah. That's, Mace I, and Diddy both had them. Yeah, so I thought that... I love that music video. I love that song. <laughs> And I had the red Yankee hat. So <laughs> that's so funny. And like, like, like your parents coming home from work and like Chiefs in the basement, like doing the. Like the Time out though. We got to bring that up though. We because we all say dumb shit on these shows. Mm-hmm. That someone brought that up before. That might be one of the more preposterous things you've said. What? Was that they filmed that video at O'Hare Airport? I'm pretty sure they did. That going going to terminal, terminal no, I know. C. I don't. Yeah. I don't think they did. I think they did. <laughs> the Mo Money Mo Problems music video. Yeah, yeah you know, when it's O'Hare? like the black light. Yeah, Chief, I have Chief, the over. Why would they film that at O'Hare? I don't know. Why do they film anything anywhere? That's what you you he dropped that as a dead serious fact. I think like it's Mayor true. Daly was like pitching people on doing music yes. videos in <laughs> O'Hare Terminal C. <laughs> I think that they're that's on. That's what, that's what we right? really what? needed in the '90s. Isn't that the United Terminal? Uh, it's term. It's you know you go underground to Terminal C and they have the crazy yes. like neon lights above you like they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Video. Look at someone told me that once and I just put it in my brain as a fact. That's no, that's fair. And I feel like it's true. We've all done it. It, it looks like it could Maybe be true. It I, I I don't know. Dude. I, hold on, I'm trying. If you to turn off, the, it, if you turn it, off those uh, the side lights that normal people go through and it's just the overhead lights, it looks just like it. <sighs> There might have been a. Di- it might not be mo money mo problems. I do remember cause when whenever this came up before, I went to Google it and like I couldn't find it on Google and because I was gonna blog it and then I'm like I'm just gonna let this one die. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've all done. We've all been there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's every breath you take. I think it might be that one, Chief. Yes, you're okay. So you're you're directionally correct. Love that. Put that on saying. a t-shirt. Direct. That's my saying. Directionally correct. Well, he just fucking stole the ban list from me. Now he's trying to steal. You're giving him directionally correct. It's actually one of I my. I didn't steal a ban list from me. Right, it's yeah. one of my dad's lines. Every breath you take, that Puff Daddy, he, him and Faith Evans thought there was no better way to memorialize Notorious B.I.G. than at O'Hare Airport. So there you go. Um, Why O'Hare? I don't know. I just it, it and is, somebody yeah. told Chief that, and that's what Direct, we're talking about. Directionally correct. Yeah, you the were, you were in, in the ballpark. <laughs> so funny, though. <laughs> if that was not true at all, like, that's such a funny thing to say. Everybody's got those those things, those, though. Those, like, stupid. Yeah. I don't, I've don't. i got a lot of those. Yeah. A disproportional amount. What's the OJ <laughs> one? Never mind. Um, so, yeah, classic Yankees hat. Any, any, any more heat? I mean, again. I mean, yeah, a lot more, to be quite <laughs> frank with you, Ed. Uh, I would argue it's less famous for baseball than it is for pop culture. Wow, it's a shitty baseball hat when it's been outweighed by guys like Jay. Like Jay Z's done a better job than Babe Ruth. But that should help it then. Coley likes Jay Z. Not really. I'm a Nas guy. Oh really? Well, all Ooh. right. Uh, I know I can name someone that wears it frequently that you like. <laughs> Fifty probably. Cent. I mean, it's, it's the, that's Brooklyn. what like it was the boring. It probably should have went one one because of its stature. But for dra- drafting baseball caps, I mean. I can't think of a more vile logo or symbol. It's it's so 
navy that it's like almost <laughs> black like it's it's its own kind of navy like it's such a weird color you can almost wear it with nothing based because like you can't wear navy with black you can't wear black with navy but it's it's not quite navy and it's not quite black like it's just such a disgusting hat well it's a big you know what do you think about the guys who uh they try to sneak it in with a black outfit you know they try to sneak that it's navy blue in. it's not good look <laughs> that's the thing though um i know i know <clears throat> it's gonna be polarizing and i i probably lost the boston vote but uh, it's a classic cat that got good memorabilia. Comes with a gold chain. Yeah, yeah, you picked up our <laughs> Yankee vote, though. Maybe. I don't know. Or they're going to just get on your ass about it being in the fourth or fifth yeah, round. Yeah. yeah. It's so yeah. fucking yeah. disrespectful. This fucking jag off. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me, Mo? Uh, Chief, you're up. I'm oh also upset. Uh-oh. So what are you upset about? Go ahead. Uh, there's a hat that I didn't that I wanted that I didn't get, but it's good to know. So I hope no one takes it. No, playing a little defense here in the fifth round against Chief Ed. I mean, he looks like he's going to do something bad. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? You, you got know. the look. Uh, yeah. Can I tell? Can I be honest? Yeah. I kind of spaced out looking at this uh, "More Money, More Problems" video, and then this, <laughs> this Puff Daddy Faith Evans "I'll Be Missing You" video, which it's clear as day if you watch that that it is that that's that C terminal. So I got, I got, I lost my list. I had a list, can't find it. Close the page. So I'm just gonna go top of my head here for the last one because you guys like I was gonna go with the Brewers. That's gone. I'm gonna go with the Atlanta Braves. I think that's a clean one. Love Which it. One? Um, I, I like just the solid one. The solid one okay. with the. A. So the, the modern. You you could uh, all navy, all navy. I'll take the all navy. Well, all, does that? Well, no, fuck. I'm thinking of the one with yeah whatever I'll just take that I like the tomahawk making the A but I feel like that's gone. Well, I mean I just think is it are fingers on off button fingers off he's he's getting the all navy. All right, the red right. bill with the Braves is classic. I, wanted, I yeah, know. Fucking Maddox, I know. Smoltz, Glavin, Danny Nagel, John so Rocker. The, it uh, this is the one that I want. Okay. That's the one I want. Okay. Do they still? Oh, we got. Well, it doesn't matter because we've. Been to, he, Carl took a pillbox hat, so it's not. Do they still wear it? They wore it. Well, the, whoa, whoa, I think whoa, whoa, the, whoa, whoa, they whoa. still. The pirates still wear it. Know, I'm not. I'm the, the pirates still wear the pillbox. They'll do it like a time or two a year. Yeah. It's I mean, nice. well, the Expos aren't exactly running around. We got two Expos picks. <laughs> Who's <laughs> wearing the Expos? Well, hats? You, you're saying Roberto Clemente doesn't look good in a pillbox hat? I'm. Sh- I say uh, he definitely does. It's a fine pick. I'm just saying. Rest in peace. I way. wasn't getting going. Um, it's a fine cap. I like the Braves hat. Yeah, it's a great hat. It's a good yeah. hat. With the tomahawk. You know, and especially under these circumstances, Chief, to pick back up against the wall, you close the list out. You know, I mean, people may not give you the credit you deserve there for this pick. I like I like the Braves. I like the, I've always liked their logo. I've always liked their players. <laughs> what an all-time deflection, too. I, I, I X out of my tabs. I did. I X out of it. I was, I, was, I was not, like, dog ate my homework on that last one. <laughs> But I like the Braves. I like. I'm fine with that pick. Braves, okay. Tomahawk, all blue. And I wanted one solid hat. I know I could have gone with the red bill. I just I'm all two tone except for that Phillies one. So the Phillies is nice. The Mike Schmidt. Yeah, that's Mike nice. Schmidt. Yep. Cole, you're up. And the red bill sets off the Braves one so much. Like that. We've moved on to your pick, Coley. <laughs> <laughs> Part of me wants to get a little problematic. I now's, just, now's the time. If it wasn't so problematic, problematic, it would have been a first round pick. If it wasn't so problematic, that's very true. <sighs> it's such a great it's hat, such, though. Take it. It's such a good, good hat. It's such a good hat. Part take of me it. Wants to split a, part of me wants to split a vote three ways. Well, time out. I don't want to speak. I don't know what you're thinking in your head because you sure do. He yeah. knows. <laughs> we all know <laughs> what he's saying. We no, all know time he's out. Time out. Remember that Cubs World Series? They showed that one guy who was wearing one, and it was a really old school one that was like very problematic. Well, that wasn't where I wasn't going that far. Fuck I didn't think Jesus. so. I didn't think so. But in case you were, I wanted to jump in front of the side. He's a father. Say I denounced that and I disavow. He's got kids. So you don't disavow the other one, even though it's also bad. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> I mean, again, part of me wants to. There, there's a vote I can split three ways. There's another vote I can split two ways. Oh, there's another um, expo. I'm, but I'm stuck between two. I'm not going to take the problematic one, but it's a good hat. I want that on the record. It's a good hat. Update the record. You know what I like an animal on the hat? 
I really do like an animal on the hat. And this team should be ashamed they've taken the animal off the hat for as long as they have. I'm going 1994 Detroit Tigers with the tiger crawling through the D. Yep. Wow. It's a good one. Wow. A hint of orange. That's my only uh, complaint with a couple of Carls. I think you can overdo orange. I know it's a big line eye color. Uh, for me personally, I, I just like a, a splash of orange, which the Detroit Tigers D has. Um, and that tiger, it's a fierce looking tiger. It is. It is. Uh, it's. I. I. I like it, Dave. You're a. You're a Al Central guy. I. I've said this so many times. I wish there was an Al Central team. I just fucking hated, but there really isn't. Like, it's cyclical depending on who's good or who's bad. Tigers uniform has never done anything for me, including not that the hat. uniform. No. Is this an orange bill or is this the blue bill? Because they have one where like it's a blue. Lee looks orange a, to me. They have a blue bill with a white tiger. And then they have an orange bill with an orange tiger. Let me make sure. Hmm. The one I see 94 is an orange bill, but this site has also been wrong. But No, so there's there's one it is, uh, and we can fact check and make sure it was worn on field. I believe it was, but it's all navy, orange D, white tiger. Yep, that's what I, okay. I have that one up here okay. too. Yeah, that oh, one I, I like a whole lot. Because, like, the D axe is like a tiger cage that he's breaking out of to mm-hmm. maul your, your throat and mm. rip your heart out. It's ferocious. Uh, it, I mean, this like, looks like, like an unbelievable hat to throw on in the 90s as a kid and go to Little Caesars. Absolutely. <laughs> it reminds me of a Little League hat. Like, that's so Detroit, you know? Well, Little Caesars is based in Detroit. Oh, yeah. is that? Okay. You knew that, right, Cole? Little yeah. Caesars Pizza Bowl. Mm-hmm. Is this a Cecil Fielder hat? I've yeah, had a hard Yes, it is. Yeah. Mike Illich, he started Little Caesars. He owned he also the Tigers. Owns, he also owns the Red Wings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. R.I.P. What about uh, Alan Trammell? Alan Trammell used to wear this hat, I mm-hmm. believe. He's a good good double play guy. Yep. Okay. It's a good hat. Coley, what size hat are you? I'm a three-fourths. I have been as a seven ace in my life, but I'm I've been a three-fourths for the majority of but it. But never never an eight. You don't you don't creep into that. No. What is Tom I'm at eight and a half? I, I think you would be the third biggest head in our office. We, we, gotta, we have a mine? couple nines oh, in this room. Oh, you're talking Harry? Harry, Harry? Harry's head is preposterous, and then so is Tom's. Yeah, Tom's, Tom's got an eight and a half, one. he said. I've always been yeah. called fat head as long as I've lived, and my head's not that big. It's seven and five eighths. Harry, tell yeah, tell Coley about how you had to have a custom lacrosse helmet that you had to take all the padding out of just to squeeze it on your fucking head. It wasn't custom, but my trainer saw me cutting padding out, and he's like, I do not encourage that. And I just was like, well, I'm going to be comfortable on the sideline. So just turn away and act like you didn't see that. <laughs> Comfort is way more important. What I'm cheering on my teammates from the sidelines. I'm going to have this thing feel right. <laughs> All right, White Sox Dave, Mr. Irrelevant. I got, I got like four hats I want to pick here. Um and then we can just go straight, straight into the uh, honorable mentions. I love the Mets colors. I'm just going to go the straight blue and orange standard Mets hat. It's like Daryl Strawberry. I like it too. Jerry Seinfeld at a game. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for the Seinfeld reference. I love a good Seinfeld reference. I, I love blue and orange anything. It's I like their black hats better. I think that's just too many they colors. Right. Yeah, those are sweet. Really? I like yeah. their black hats a lot more. more. I think once they got to City Field, the black hat got cooler. When they played at Shea, the old blue were cooler, I think. Because you couldn't do the all black. Like at Shea, it was like, I don't See, know. like I, I got an ESPN article on like best hats. This is 83 through 90. Like those uniforms are so sweet. Oh, those were great. So sweet. Pinstripes. The pinstripes with the like big piping down the side of the yep. shoulders and then the legs. The Keith, elastic Keith pant Hernandez. without yeah. the uh, without Hernandez, no belt. They just, just have like pure mountains, elastic. Of, mountains of blow on that team. Like that. Nice I, game, pretty boy. Yeah. I would love to you to hop, throw on one of these and hop on the seven line with Frank and go to a game. Hey, let me ask you that. You, so you hate the Yankees, obviously. What do you think of the Mets? I, I'm very thankful uh, for the Mets winning that 86 World Series because I wasn't alive yet. So that championship would have done nothing for me. And 04 <laughs> wouldn't have felt as good as it did. So I have no problem with the Mets. How uh, how old are it. you, Coley? I'm 32. It's a good way to look at it. Yeah, 32. But, like, I love how Mets fans just have an utter disdain for the Yankees because I have an utter disdain. Right. They make me want to puke my guts out of my throat. 
Um, but like enemy of my enemy is a friend type deal. Mm-hmm. I I I like will always have a small affinity. And my mom, she's not a baseball fan, but she's a Mets fan. Air quotes. I mean, sons of Uribe. You have like yeah, a whole exactly. You have like a brotherhood until KFC they and until they got real ownership. They were just as big as a loser organization as my team is. Oh yeah. It's, it's tough pick. to fully embrace Mets fans, though, because of the other teams they typically carry. So, like, even if I don't hate Fair. the Mets yeah. specifically, like, they'll end up being a Jets fan. And that's like, well, you just don't I mean, the Jets them. are such a loser organization, too. It's like I wouldn't even care about them if I were a Pats fan. No, it, it's not a care thing. Like, certainly the – the because typically, too, you'll run into, like, a Yankees, Giants, and then – somehow they've uh, happened upon uh, becoming a Lakers fan as well. So it's like they don't even claim the Knicks. So, like, those are for sure worse people. But, uh, yeah, it's just – it's tough. Like, uh, I don't hate the Mets, but the people can, depending on the time of year, can piss me off. Yeah. I'm I'm talking strictly, like, April 1st through October 1st. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll run through these. We'll do some honorable mentions. We'll get out of here. Carl, uh, 1983 Orioles, Pirates, three gold rings, San Francisco Giants hat, 70s Brewers mitt hat with a yellow front, all blue Expos. Eddie, white Expos, powder blue Royals, teal Marlins hat with black brim, white 1998 Diamondbacks hat, classic Yankees hat. Uh, Chief, white original Blue Jays hat, Kelly Green with yellow brim, A's hat, Mariners hat with teal brim, Phillies maroon, 80s hat, all Navy modern Atlanta Braves with Tomahawk. Uh, Coley, Seattle All Navy with gray brim backwards. Uh, all black Florida Marlins. 2004 World Series Red Sox. 1950 Cardinals bird hat. 1994 Tigers with Tiger crawling through D. Uh, White Sox Dave, 89 to 92 Angels Navy with red brim. Uh, White Sox present day. Uh, classic Dodgers, red STL script Cardinals hat, blue and orange Mets hat. The one that I'm sh- – Chief, I'm shocked you didn't go. I, I love, and I really thought about taking over the Yankees. I love the under, the, the lowercase curse of A, the Hank Aaron Braves hat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really love But I guess I'm just a white panel front guy. You are. Maybe. Yeah. So, Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Coley, did you know about that Cardinals hat, or did you come across it in research? I mean, I'm so heavy in the hack game. Like, I knew yeah. it existed. I've wanted it for a while. Um, That's probably a tough but find. But, no, that wasn't a research. Outside of, like, Bush okay. Stadium. Yeah, I didn't know if you were just, like, Googling and, like, oh, shit. Because that is sick, and I've just never seen that I've logo. never seen it either. I've never. And they have a great logo now, multiple great logos now. But that one, they should work that into the rotation. I want, yeah, I don't, I, think, I don't think there's a bad Cardinals hat, to be quite honest with yeah. you. Any uh, Anything else come to mind, Coley? So one hat I really, really wanted to pull the trigger on, and it, it may be one of my like two, three favorite hats, is the black red sat with the red brim and the red C. Um, I love like that. Sean um, Casey style was... with the yeah. sleeveless yeah, jerseys. Like I, Griff, it's Griffey again. Like, yeah, yeah. Like pretty much anything Griffey wore, including the White Sox hat, big fan of. Um, so yeah, that, I'm kind of surprised that one wasn't taken. I think the Reds. Much like the Pirates have one of the cleaner overall looks. Any team that was brave enough to ever wear vests on the field, I'm a big fan of. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Pirates, like I think the Pirates hats, I know Carl took the pillbox one, but like the the black Pirates hat with the gold P and the red brim is such a unique color contrast. Um, yeah, it is. that's 2002. They, to like got, they had one where they had a pirate on it. They had a yeah. pirate. Yeah, on yeah. It. yeah. But with the bats as the skull and crossbones. Right. Like mm-hmm. yep. the pirates do not miss. Oh, I forgot about that hat. You know which one I actually I actually like, but I feel like is not going to be popular. I love the the Padres now. Like where they, it's like a unique color I like scheme. I, I like, like with the orange, the Tony Gwynn. See, one, I, there was I one like orange. Uh, was it the D or the S was orange? One of them was. One, it was a. It was. It was blue, orange, yeah. and white was the ones you're thinking of. I, I like that the one. the '80s and then the ones they brought the yellow back. Yellow brown, yeah. Like I and I love like Wyoming sports mm-hmm. stuff too. Like I just think that's like a unique color combo, and I think it doesn't really fit like San Diego. No, which I feel like it hurts it. Like I don't know, but it fits the Padres. It fits like the concept of like a Padre, like a father, like a monk figure. Like here comes Friar Tuck wearing the brown. Yeah, I think the Padres have a don't they have a hat with the monk on it? They do, or they yeah, did. Yeah. He's swinging for the fences. Yeah. Oh, boy. Drop that uh, back shoulder. Coley, look up uh, White Sox 87s. It's with a C. Let me know what you think because this is the uh, – I buy a new Sox hat every year, White Sox hat, and this is going to be my pick this year. I've never owned this hat. This is like the one White Sox hat I've never owned. 
Red's pinstripe is nice too. Mm-hmm. Old school. Way old school. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Cubs with the red bill I like, but meh. it doesn't really move the needle, I think. But I like the yeah, Cubs alternates. I don't, I don't like this one. I don't love this. Um if this well, they were good great. when they had this hat. They they went to the playoffs with this hat a couple times, so yeah, I think it's did. popular with fans for that reason. Like the one that kind of just says socks across. Like That's that, the eighty three. Like, they yeah, wear those, those now. Nice. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I think That's I like, like that in the regular rotation now. Hat, but I think it all plays. You like when they uh, wear the shorts? <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> your boy Cursell. my former boy. I, one of my favorite hats. I don't think they've ever worn it on field though. Is the all red White Sox hat. All red oh, socks. All yeah, red. they're they're uh they haven't worn them recently. Yeah, if they've think, ever I mean, worn them. That um, and the all red Dodgers, because I'm not a big blue guy, but I don't think they've ever once worn the all red. Uh, I think they made that specifically because gang culture in LA is so strong they had to. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, I don't the red hats I'm all about. It's how about the old red Astros? Did a Red Sox hat even get picked? Yeah, Coley took yes. it. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, I love the Red Sox hat. I, I love the Red Sox uniforms, yeah. I, did, I have this, and it's my Cubs hat. It's a 47 where it has, like, that old, like, kind of dumpy-looking bear holding the bat. But I, oh, I, I like that I one, love, too. I love that mm-hmm. logo, but I feel like they don't ever really wear that. Do they ever wear it on the field? Not, I, Carl, can you remember differently? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. so really that's right. why like, I didn't take it, but that's, that is, like, my Cubs hat that I wear. Modern day, I really like the TB. I like Tampa Bay. I think that's, that's clean. A, I think it's a clean, nice hat. Their, uni, you, think, their unis are clean. If we you go it. early to, like, the Devil Rays hat, like, yeah. I think that's a better hat. The original um, one? Yeah, it's cooler. Yeah. yeah. It's cooler. With purple the Devil brim. Ray. Yeah, purple brim, like, neon green in there. Like, yeah. Those will all start making a comeback. The all-purple huh? Rockies is sweet. Rockies is under yeah. Yeah. I feel like the Rockies should do more. With like, the, I feel like they have like a cool color scheme, but they're like for something. There's just something missing for them with me. I feel you. Yeah. So a few years ago, they went with. Uh, they had like the mountain range. Yeah. With the baseball like going over it. As, like that's cooler. Um, an alternate hat that was strong. Mm-hmm. Well, this is good, Coley. Uh, thank you for joining us. And last we will, one, uh, the Phillies hat, powder blue that Ed sniped that I saw. Right. No, I, Phillies, I Phillies. Seen. Philly's royal blue with the with the red brim in the nineties. Mm, Kurt okay, Schilling. Yeah. Philly's got a good hat too. Uh, Coley, we'll uh, we'll talk. We'll 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 try to figure. I'll out see you at Fenway this summer, up. Coley. The threat. It is. <laughs> Go to a Sox for Sox game out there. Maybe two. For you want to drive four hours down to hang out with White Sox Dave for a baseball game? It's yeah, only two. I'm not two. deep in. Okay, I, I couldn't go. I, I couldn't do that. I wouldn't be able to connect to this internet to talk to your beautiful faces if I was that high up. Mm. You're not. You're not in the lumberjack area. Thanks, Holly. No, no, not very much. Not. I'm. I'm like right outside of Portland. I'm basically in northern Massachusetts. Is how I look at it. Okay. Coley, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, guys. Always a pleasure. Looking forward to another very standard draft next time you text me. Ed. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll get. We'll something. draft up. Uh, what's your arcade games. What's your favorite color? <laughs> Letters of the alphabet would be electrifying. We we'll have get to do something. That. And if anyone has a good idea for something with Coley, I'd love to hear it. Well, uh, let's. Can we please do in like a couple months? We could, of the dog, long but. form things like movies over four hours, long books. We could probably we <laughs> could know, probably do. A, let's get really well. You guys weird. aren't big Simpsons people, right? No, no I am. Unfortunately, you are. okay. Because we could do like, character draft. Yeah, there's definitely enough characters to do. Hi, Simpsons everybody. Show. Should I watch every one and then we do it? Yeah, you want to watch thirty years of content? Edna no, Kerbobble. I feel like Coley can There's put still a specific out, finite. What 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 do I need to watch if I watch all the Sims? Like you could you would be here I mean, until twenty. No, I know, but what do I, I say, need? To, I say one through thirteen. One like, through I think thirteen. The first thirteen. I have, like a lot of people will say ten. Some people, I think RA says like eight. Uh, I think they're wrong. I think they uh, are misremembering how eight through twelve really went. So I'd say one through thirteen. So okay. what year would twelve be? Like two thousand two, something like that. Uh, Oh, they started one, in the yeah. 80s, I want to say. Right? I thought it was like right in the late, in like 89. It's, 80, it's 89. Yeah. Mm. Man, I think you can actually skip one. I think you can skip. I disagree. <laughs> disagree. It, it's a different skip. show. It's yeah. A different show, but it's it's fundamental to everything that comes after it. Sure. But I, I think if you start him on one, he'll be like, ah. 
I mean, I've seen the Simpsons. Episodes, I think. Yeah, I've seen many episodes, but I've just not. I haven't watched it Disney enough Plus. to be like crazy knowledge. That's a. I got Disney Plus for the sole reason during the pandemic to watch old Simpsons episodes, and I binge watched like maybe ten or twelve episodes in one night, and then never touched it again. And every month, I get to know that your Disney Plus not- or subscription is renewed. It's like I haven't touched that well, other than one. Not time. hard to Show cancel. Bob. <laughs> yeah, I just forget about it. You could do it. I can. For sure. Thanks, Coley, man. It's awesome, dude. Always a pleasure, boys. You have yourself a great Thursday. Thanks, Coley. All right, everybody. That's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow.